just for the things that Andrew Tate on. Um, and obviously, like I've seen a lot of people reacting to it. I've most of them have been reacting to this clip here. Andrew Tate destroys feminist. I figured let's take it a step further, <laughs> and let's let's. I I'm curious about the entire context of everything. Um, who knows? Maybe, maybe Andrew Tate and just probably things will surprise us with some really epic poggers, powerful facts and logic. Let's let's get it going. What up, guys? Welcome to the Just Pearly Things YouTube channel, and welcome to the pregame. Before pre I start, do not forget to subscribe <laughs> to the channel and ring. All right, let's just kind of like do guest introductions. Why sure. don't we go around and have everyone on the panel introduce introduce yourself? Say your name, your age, your relationship status, where are you from, and just a little bit about you. Um, why don't we start here? Okay, hi everyone. My name is Brittany Renner. Oh. I'm 30 years old. I'm single as a Pringle. I have. A I think that's the girl that. Go doesn't she like date younger basketball guys? I mean, listen, if Andrew Tate's gonna date younger girls, I guess why can't Brittany Renner do this? <laughs> a one and a half year old son, and I'm here to learn something new today. Cool. I'll, oh. I'll help you with that. <laughs> That's they brought me. Damn. Well, mm. sir, they brought me here to look for trouble. It's the now the troublemaker. You thought she couldn't do it, but she did it. Here she is. I am. Um, Freshly 30. I am single, mm, not ready to mingle yet. And okay. something interesting about me. Well, I'm a smart woman. I'm here to. Okay. Am I too see low? Or Mr. Tate can learn something from me. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Sagittarius, Sagittarius, relax, please. Be nice. Be nice. Come on. I wasn't rude. Andrew Tate, 36 years old. I cannot disclose personal information because, of course, my enemies are after me. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm here to educate as I always am. I just feel like it's a. Oh. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming he's not going to tell us his, his relationship status, which is single. I'm, I'm assuming. Okay, whatever. That doesn't Perhaps matter. somebody will say something remotely insightful, but uh, okay. at least I get a Clementine if not, so <laughs> I'm chilling with Lauren. Very and cool. it's your girl Esther, the Nigerian queen. Oh. I'm here to entertain, to disagree with somebody in here. Wow. I managed to not... <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm a little... Uh, I'm a little tired right now, but I've managed to not particularly care for anybody that we've heard so far. <laughs> okay. Oh, Auntie, she's looking really, at you. Really? <laughs> I am looking at somebody. It's her but... favorite duo. It's her favorite duo. <laughs> but no, for real, though, I'm just here to have a good time. Just, yeah, get some vibes. Me too, dude. And in terms of my relationship status, I am single, doing interviews. What? I'm not scared for anybody. But yeah, that's how it is. I must have hit something. Okay, cool. Let's go. Auntie Jenny here. 54. I'm here to cut out the bullshit. Simple. I like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like that. Thank okay. you guys. Bet you do. I could ship that. I could ship Andrew Tate and that and that woman together. I could ship it. Yeah, well, you have to cut the bullshit. That's the problem with the world today. It's too much bullshit. Yeah, and then not direct. If they've got something to say to you, just say it. Absolutely. Why are you being mean already? already? I don't really say care. It. If you've got oh. something to say, just say it. Don't no. beat around the bush. Just say it. So basically, I'll say it. Just say it. Just say it. Hey, Auntie, or yeah. I beg, give the girl a chance to speak now and relax. What girl? Hey. What have I said? This one. What have I said? I'm addressing the elephant in the room, innit? Listen, I don't believe in the elephants in the room. I'm pretty sure that uh, I've seen um, that one girl sitting in the middle of the couch, not in this frame, in the other frame before on uh, oh. Just Pearly Things chat. <clears throat> if there's something to say, just say it. Don't beat around the bush. If you've got something to say to me, I am here. Talk okay. to my face. There should be no elephant in the room because this ain't no zoo. You understand? Uh, so if you've got something to say, just say it. We'll be no, I'm just Personally, I love the performative, like, uh, posturing. Uh, okay, relax. It's not that serious. Well, that's just old people, I guess, too, huh? Old people are just always yelling. Always yelling, blah, 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 blah. You know? So. Saying, but just all big people here. So okay. if I want to say something to you, I'm going to say something to you straight, like I normally do. Yeah. If I've got oh, something to say cool. to Esther, I'm going to tell Esther. Whether she likes it or not, I don't really care. Andrew Tate, my son's older okay. than him, so I don't give a damn who he is. I'm going to just say what I've got to say. So whoever don't like Very it, cool. that's how. Don't come. You, you should missed be out, here. Brittany. I feel picked on. <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> and Brittany too, right? Even Pearl too. <laughs> Feel better now. Yeah, Auntie, Auntie gave me. Um, Auntie was yelling at me in wife school the other day, so oh. she she doesn't give a shit. Wife um, school. Very <laughs> okay, cool. so my first question like is: What is the number one problem facing men today, and what is the number one problem facing women today? Dude, you th this, <laughs> this honestly, this 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 fake discourse is the number one problem, uh, with with men and women today. There's nothing particularly profound. Like, listen, there are issues that men tend to deal with disproportionately and issues that women tend to deal with disproportionately. But, like, it's so boring to classify people so specifically in this, like, really weird performative way. Most people are just trying to get their, like, work their nine to five. Most people are just dealing with not really being able to put the food on the table. <laughs> Obviously not something I have a problem with. <laughs> Morbid obesity joke. Um, 
and people just want to live and this back and forth boy and girl like you know everybody going after each other is just not productive in any capacity um it really isn't it's not <clears throat> do you want me to tell you like i think the number one biggest thing for real it's like fatherless children number one and manosphere promotes more fatherless children when you have a when you have an entire ideology centralizing around dudes dating younger girls talking about how women who are, are older are very like profoundly less valuable as people how it should be okay for a guy to cheat uh this is just producing weak-willed men that aren't staying in the house in the home is there more problems of course but this is so it's it's just like crazy I mean, discourse is devolved into pseudo intellectual conversations about stuff like this, and it's so unproductive and stupid. It's literally this is just the personification of boy versus girl TikTok. That's it. It's it's it really is. It's exhausting and it's childish and it's stupid. It's fucking obnoxious. That's that's really what it comes down to. Um, so instead of funneling all your time, energy, and effort into watching Andrew Tate clips for fucking you know three hours and, and while you sit in your bed, instead of get up and go get a job. Go be productive. I mean, that's all I can tell you. Just go get a fucking job. Go be productive. Stop blaming women for all your problems. And stop blaming men for all your problems. Shut up. Grow up. Get your shit together. And stop focusing on this dumb fucking gender war that means so very little. It's just so dumb. It's unproductive. Who cares? Can I say something? Come on, ladies. Everybody's gonna say, educate you know, me. Yeah, <laughs> the number one problem, all the Come on, tell the me. The number one problem with men is that they don't tell women the truth. And the number one problem with women is that they can't, they can't handle the truth. Simple. Uh, well, okay. That, that's, a good, that's a good paradigm to start from because it's actually Not, very interesting you say okay. that. A lot of women say, I just want a man who's honest. And then the second you're honest, she's like, what? You did exactly. what? It's like, well, then don't ask me for honesty. Of course I fucking lie. <laughs> Thank you. So that's a, good, that's a good point. I agree with oh. that. Mm. that I, hey, can you give us like an example instead of just making like a really vague comment? Okay. I don't think it's the biggest problem, but it certainly is a problem in relationships today. That is a problem. The biggest problem with men today is that uh -huh. I think the world is becoming hyper competitive. Most men are not aware and understanding of how quickly there's going to be a genuine shift in between those who have things and those who do not have things. Not Everybody's 1000% aware of that. This isn't new news. And it's happening for women as well, especially in the Western world when women are like in the market more for work. This isn't like profound news. Do people think that this is like crazy? <gasps> The world's becoming more competitive. Why is that? Oh, there's less money. Because why? Because tech it's really because technology is displacing jobs and driving down wages. That's really what it boils down to. Yeah, let's focus on that. Let's fix that problem. <laughs> okay. Not just finances, but also female status, everything else. Okay. And it's a status game, right? And it's becoming harder and harder for men to play. Okay. <laughs> and that's all women's fault, of course. Sure. <laughs> because, no, but it is because women choose the winners, right? Uh, women choose who the high status males are. So. Uh. Women pretend to give a shit about men. Of course, they don't. They, they give a shit about themselves. And oh, women don't choose what women. You're saying women choose who's a high status man. If money makes you high status, which it generally would, women don't choose that. Women aren't giving people money. I don't know what you're talking about. And the reality, like, I don't know what like this delusional world like Tate lives in. I don't know. I mean, I guess this is the problem when you date like you know 19 and 20 year old girls at the clubs and stuff. This is which is mostly what the manosphere does. But bro, <clears throat> this isn't like the real world. People are very immature, both men and women, young men and women. They're more immature than they ever have been because they're staying in their household longer and longer because they can't afford to move out. They're going to college later and later. That's why you're seeing like older people becoming like less and less mature because they haven't really gotten to the real world. And then they get in there and they're like, wow, this is horrible. Everything we were promised, like finding a job, doing our dream job just crumbles through. That's really what the bigger issue is more than anything else. So... <laughs> and, 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 a, and a woman, oh and a woman, when she, and a woman, a woman. If you ask her what she wants from a man, she's like, "I don't want much. I just want to find a nice man who's a millionaire and six foot tall and funny." And That's not what women will say. Most women, like, if, when you're, yeah, I, you're probably going to hear that if you're a millionaire. Most women just want to find a guy with like ambition. That's pretty much it. Like the bar is so, bro. When I was making like in New York about fifty thousand dollars a year dating on Timber, the bar is so profoundly low it's have a decent job that you're actually trying to advance in <laughs> it's the bar is so low it is guys and the bar is low for women as well you know i mean like the bars are pretty low we 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 really are <laughs> deteriorating as a society here it's not that hard all right a lot of young girls who can't find uh, like a younger girls who can't find like a guy to stay with them it's because they don't respect themselves enough to like withhold sex for a little bit so to generate a man's respect and a lot of the women that can't find uh girls today just like they just can't shower i fuck i'm not even kidding you think i'm making a, a, a teehee fucking joke 
Stop playing video games all day. Like, shower, have ambition, do something else. Like, video games are awesome. I'm doing it right now, but it's not the most productive thing you could do. You know what I used to do before? I used to play video games a lot when I was younger. Probably argue I had a video game addiction. <clears throat> then I stopped when I started working 60 hour weeks. Work harder. And the same goes for women, too, because you're going to have to step up, too, financially. This is a real advice people aren't going to tell you. This is some weird, like, this is just, like, sad. It's sad to hear grown people speak with such ignorance of the world. It's incredible. Charismatic and interesting and spontaneous and looks after me and doesn't cheat. And, and it's funny and good looking and strong. I don't want much. Like, they, they name all this shit that most dudes are never going to have. And it's becoming harder and harder. And, you end up and also, with all this whole, like, high, oh, women have high expectations. Men. Listen, if you're an ugly guy, check this out. Statistically speaking, there is an ugly girl out there for you. Okay? It's the reality. So keep that in mind, guys. All right? You might be really good looking. To, I'm fucking ugly as shit. My wife thinks I'm the most attractive person in the entire world. And I think the same about my wife. But you know what? If you looked at it from a more objective lens, we're probably not particularly attractive to most people. That's fine. We're happy. So keep that in mind, too. Okay? If women's like, I have a really high expectation, they're not going to find anybody. Because no one's going to want to date them. Because they think too much of themselves. The world will auto-correct itself. With people... Top G's who own everything on the planet they could ever possibly wish for. And then you've got other guys who have nothing. And you're, there's this large divide. There's no longer any middle ground. You have dudes okay. who can't get any pussy. And then you've got dudes who are just blocking girls left, right, and center. And that's what okay. the problem with being a man is today. Sure. What about the women? What about well, I, well, I would say... Well, everybody's got a chance to talk. I'm going to shut up and have my Clementine. No, I want to know. I want to know. I want to learn from you, sir. You want to learn from me? Well, I, yes, wanna, well, I wanted to answer. I feel like it goes for both. It's not just one or the other. I feel like it's self-accountability. Mm. Women are not accountable for themselves. I agree with you there. What does that mean? Why what just women though? What it's about both. Men? It's yeah, both. It is definitely both. both. Yeah. Sure, I could. I could argue it's both, especially again, like we're talking with Western world, where people are staying in their homes longer, not really doing anything. I guess why just single out women? Let's see. It's both. You're right, but society punishes men for not being self accountable. But society does not punish women for not being self accountable. I'll give you an example. If you're a man, yeah. you're arrogant, and you think you're something when you're not. Trust me, society will teach you very quickly that you don't matter when you don't get laid and you stay fucking brokey. If you're a chick and think you're something when you're not, you can run around. I mean, that's like all sure, whatever. Ego, still get dates, still get laid, still have a fairly sure. sensible social life. <laughs> society as a whole doesn't come along and slap you in the face with realizations. Okay. If you're a man and you think you're something you're not, it is a ticking time bomb until society teaches you a lesson. That's if you're a person who thinks that you're something you're not, you're going to be a miserable fucking loser. You cannot, uh, guys can have very robust social lives thinking that they're the most incredible things in the world. I don't know what you're talking about. They might not be able to find long-term relationships, but what are women going to do? They're going to be able to fuck, but they're just going to be used by guys because they think that they're something that they're not. Give and take. The difference. This is why men in general are more self-accountable because the men who are not self-accountable get fucked up. So those who are sure. successful are very self-accountable people. They look at themselves and go, okay, the only way okay. I'm going to get and progress further. The reason she left me, the only way I'm going to do better, make more money, et cetera, et cetera, is I have to change. Most women don't want to do that. They don't sit and think I have to change. They think, oh, he left me because it's him and I lost my job because my boss. And Most people most people deflect is what she's talking about in general. Mature people, whether you're a boy or a man or a woman, uh, you're going to look at situations and see what you could have done better. That's just part of growing up. This isn't a woman exclusive or a man exclusive issue. This is this because of this. They, no, you women don't look in the mirror and change a fucking thing. Ever. Don't, Ever. No, because Ever. don't forget what you're forgetting right nowadays. They can't change it because it's all about body positivity. Are you like saying? I look sexy at a size 28. Are you saying Lizzo's not a 10? <laughs> Are you guys trying to get yeah, again, it's like with the whole body positivity thing, it's a cope because society is specifically relentlessly harasses women for their looks more than men. I'm just going to be real with you. It's just a fact of the matter. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. So a cope was degenerated. Fundamentally, it's about loving yourself so you'll want to change uh, and do better. Some people hold on to the cope too much and they develop like really unhealthy eating habits and they justify those with body positivity. It's not good for your health. We already know this. Uh, sure. Be canceled. <laughs> See, I'm not gonna lie. I don't agree with what you just said because 90% of cosmetic surgery is by women. Women are trying to change as much as possible. Men don't want to change. They're not accountable oh, no, for themselves. Like I both want to change. She does bring a decent point up in the sense that like women are trying to change by adhering to those beauty standards, which is kind of toxic. You should do your best to not make those like severe altercations to the point of getting cosmetic surgeries. But you know. They think that because because they're a man, you're going to be attracted to them. No, like you can you can't be fat. You stay at home. You're just playing video games, and you expect a woman to want to fuck you. No, she's not going to want to fuck you. Right, yeah. you. Yeah, that she won't. 
This is the point. And, 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 and then she won't, and society will teach them a lesson. They might be able to pull off a little... Yeah, and then the ugly girl just got to put a lot of look and sh like a lot of work, and she'll get fucked. Exactly. But she's not going to get into a relationship. Again, the, that's really all it is. Like, yeah, any woman, you could go get... If you're a woman, you get much easier to get fucking dick. But, like, usually women don't really want just sex. They want a relationship. It's not that easy. It's why women tend to get, like, you know, used more by fuckboys. And then eventually they'll learn and they'll lower their expectations. <laughs> Just like guys won't get fucking pussy and they'll learn and they'll lower their expectations. It's the it's the great law of the world. With a girl for a year or so, but in general, they're going to end up lonely. In general, they're going to struggle to find partners. I agree with you with the, with the cosmetic surgery exactly. thing. Women are happy to change how their appearance and change how they look, but they're not happy to change how they act. Most what? of them, they're not yes, happy they to change. Are. Well, they're not. The women are changing Wait. what the men don't care about. The men don't care about the big old lips. Yes, they do. And the, and the oh, yes, they do. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, that's like a huge thing for men is superficial, like, superficial bullshit. Everybody cares about superficial bullshit. What are you talking about? About. men don't want the big old yes they what do you mean they yeah who doesn't want a nice pair of dsls women are getting tit surgeries because guys like big tits i don't like it's not like a fucking super hot take I, this, this is just a profoundly wrong point she's making here i don't even know how to oh, they do it. the women are doing that for themselves okay. because the men don't care about it the men would rather what? change your stinking attitude then okay. put on all that makeup and hair and everything that's what the men want but the women will go out there like oh i'm no. gonna change this i'm gonna change that if you look at a man and the man said yeah he's fat the man will most if he's feeling bad about himself, he wants to make that he'll go and hit the gym. What's someone going to do? Go and I mean, like a guy being fat isn't usually as uh, isn't, isn't usually as much of a stressor for their relationship as a girl being fat, generally speaking. Or at least a guy won't get fucking harassed for it as much. Just a fact. I've been on the I barely get harassed for being fat. Women, you're fucking relentlessly get harassed. I don't know what to, what to tell you. Um, I've seen women make health self improvement and men do the same thing. I just feel like these things are not like men versus women. These are ridiculous. I'm getting stun locked get right now over dumb shit. Start, put on her makeup, put on her hair, <laughs> and say the big old fat person that she is and say, oh, it's body positivity. The men don't even want that. Okay. And that's, the women are not getting all this cosmetic surgery for the men. She's They're right. getting it for themselves. Yeah. You gotta turn around. What man wants a woman that's gonna turn around, go and have an operation, they can't sit on a plane because her ass has been injected or been interfered with. She's got to lie there on her stomach. You think the men want that? Or wake up in the morning before you gotta hit the house. She's gotta put on. I'm sure I worried about some of the men because they must go out with a woman Ooh. and then when they wake up in the morning they think who the hell is she the scars, by the time you take fish. everything off women need to change their attitudes before they change their makeup date girls with less makeup i don't know what to tell you again like i tend to date girls that are more natural looking <laughs> like you could just do that like men like that some men like it and then some women like will gravitate towards it i don't know try to have more natural preferences like yeah there you go. There's your hot take. I'm sure that it, even more than that, change your attitude. The problem is, is that the men who like all these surgeries are usually super, like incredibly superficial. Probably not the greatest uh, people to be in relationships with either. So, and the women who get those makeups are trying to attract the people that aren't, uh, or not makeup specifically, but like BBLs and shit. They're, you know, attracting shit men. Um, and they want shit men. They're attracted to shit men and then the shit men who want them and they just can be all miserable and shitty themselves and uh, good, good. Stay out of the dating pool. Just don't procreate. That's for women got there and they want to change this, want to change that. All the things that don't count. If you learn to, the same sure. way women can go there and learn to put makeup on, learn to cook. Learn to wash by hand. Learn to please a man. Is sure, learn to cook. Men should learn to cook too. I mean, not for nothing. Not for nothing, but like, I mean, uh, bro, listen, I think that's, oh fuck, I shouldn't have left. No! I mean, Destiny had this weird rant, but one of the things he said is that you have a bunch of men who are like, you know, in the, the fucking manosphere who are really identifying with this ideology. They can't even do their own fucking laundry. It's kind of true, man. Take care of your basic shit. Learn to cook for yourself. <laughs> Learn to cook for yourself. You have you like you should be able to be like self-sustaining. My wife cooks for me, but I can still cook for myself. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, get your 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 house in order before looking for other people. It's weird that you know if you can't if a man, if you can't cook as a man, how are you gonna find a woman who cooks? Like, what are you gonna do? You're just gonna live in your mom in your mommy's home the whole time until you, <laughs> you know what I mean? And like have mommy cook for you until you find a woman. That's just weird because then you're just looking for a fucking woman to replace your mother, and now it's just bizarre and kind of like weird. So that's I'll what date you girl. need to that's do. How date girl. <laughs> She's She's that girl. That's how date girl. That's how date right. For who? I'm saying Everybody it's like you're, we had literally just talked about this off camera when we when you guys came mm -hmm. from the airport when we were talking about oh uh, what are, what's the value system or the point system for a woman who cooks versus a, a woman who can suck good dick and fuck well but you like, can cook and suck dick as no, well but, but, I'm, but I'm you saying is, is that Pearl if you can correct me if I'm wrong but um, quoting her was that in, when she interviewed people on the street that there was more points given to something for, like a sexual return as opposed to oh wash dishes by hand there's a dishwasher no. why cook we can eat out there's a chef the people don't get they don't give a fuck about that that's they're what they think they should give a fuck about that because it's one of the reasons why people aren't doing well financially because they're spending money going out all the time. 
talking about this. We literally just talked about this yesterday. No, it was okay. I did a street interview and I asked the guys, would you rather have a girl that gave good head or a good cook? And most guys they want this. But I think that's for the quick satisfaction. That's more for like. I mean, I'd rather just have a girl who. It wants to appease me, right? You can learn to cook and you can learn to give good head, but it's hard. You can't instill a value of hard work into a person. It doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl. You want to find somebody who is willing to put time into trying to satisfy you, uh, learning to cook, learning to this. Like, there you go. Like a one night stand. But, but what I'm trying to say term. is that if you, mm -hmm. all the women out there and they're talking about, well, some of the women want to be settled down, they want a man. Yeah. Right? And you got to think what the man wants. The man, the man is interested in that. Look at yeah. when, you're, when you're doing street interviews, you're interviewing. Single people. Look at the people okay. there that are happily married and ask them what they do. Because all the things that the women out there are doing, you can be a housewife, you can be going out, you can suck hair just as good as any old tramp on the street. And keep your man. And have a man. Sure. And I can say that because I'm 32 years in counting. Auntie, you can't say Wait, attraction is not I've important. No. You can't say attraction is not important. Though. It is initially, important. Well, you should initially. Get, no, initially, exactly. You, a, a man is not, not going to find you attractive and then think, oh, because you, you, you can cook well. It's got a chef. A man's going to find you attractive and he's okay, going to... Okay, let's, let's ask Andrew. He's gonna, Andrew. Just, he, he, Oh, well, yeah, if you're damn in the guy's money, maybe they won't care about the cooking part, but that's not the normal person. This obviously, it's very, it should be very clear, this isn't advice for the average person. When it's like, yeah, what about these men who have chefs? I don't know. What about the rest of us? How about living the real fucking world? These people argue from like fucking Mount Olympus. It's actually incredible how disconnected all of them are, for, are from fucking reality here. Would you be with a girl that's five out of ten because she can cook? <laughs> that what I said. Oh, firstly, that's not what she said, to be fair. And secondly, I'd be with a 10 out of 10 who can cook because I'm top cheap. But <laughs> to make the point, I think what you have to understand is what men are looking for in a relationship. So you did okay. the, the street interview and you're asking single people, probably young people, probably idiots, you know they're on camera talking shit about good head, all this garbage. It's bullshit. What okay. men are interested in, in life, not just in their relationship, but in their life as a whole is status. I don't think most people understand, especially women, how competitive the male world is and how competitive it is for status. This is why men do everything. Yeah, listen, men, men tend to be more competitive for sure. Men tend to want to succeed more. It, it seems to be more ambitious, for sure. Um, so they're like, sure, men are looking for a support. Or you want it, at least you want an ambitious man. <laughs> if you're an ambitious guy, you'll have an easier time getting girls. Thing is, is that like a guy will usually want somebody who will support that ambition, right? So like, yeah, cooking, and cleaning, this very superficial. Somebody who is willing to love you and uh, allow you to confide in them, because you're not going to become successful without just facing significant mental health stressors or different stressors in your life, and you need somebody to help you manage that, man or woman. You don't even really have to gender that. So yeah, everything they do. Men buy the faster car, not to drive any faster, because of status. That's why we want a bigger house. We don't give a shit where we live. It's because status. Sure, and we should also work to like change that behavior because if you're a person that's so you should like yeah men like status symbols we should really be trying to deprogram men from that kind of shit because it's toxic and not good for you hey you want to know what else people oh, oh you ever see people who are homeless who have iphones and you're like wow they're homeless why are they prioritizing a fucking iphone that's the way that men are some men are with cars and watches and this and that if you don't have the means you shouldn't be investing in the thing that's the thing it's a real fucking thing, man. Like, stop living outside of your means. I mean, we shouldn't be encouraging this behavior in young men or women because both men and women do it. They want to have all these status symbols. You know, they want to they look rich. They don't want to be rich. You know, there's people who, who will be fucking hemorrhaging money, but they want the latest fucking iPhone. They'd rather sit in their fucking cold toilet bathroom because they can't afford heat with an iPhone than actually take a comfortable shit with some fucking, you know, secondary phone that's three years old. The status symbols are a problem. We shouldn't be encouraging the behavior of the like, yeah, men want status. Men, you should not. You should chill the fuck out. All right. You know what's more important than the fucking nice car that you want? Of raising a family, of raising good kids with good values. Focus on your fucking priorities, bro. That's why I want to go to the gym and get big and strong because of status. Everything we do is about status. That's why I want the better jobs. Why I want more money. Why I want to be respected. Where is this? So what's the number one thing we want our female to give us? Status. That's what we want. So she can give us status by being beautiful. That's one thing she can do. Mm. But another thing she could do is if I turn up home and I come home with my boys and she says, I'll cook you all a steak. Mm. That's status. Sure. That's all my boys going, Ross, you've just been out all night and she's here and she's going to cook for all of us and she'll clean up and tidy up. Boom. That's the kind of girl a man's not going to want to lose because it makes. It's just like, yeah, sure. That's a good example. It's just weird how like immature these examples are. Yeah. When I come home from the, from the. <laughs> With my guys, we cook me a steak. Well, what about um, when you're like sitting up and you can't sleep at night because you know you have some kind of an issue going on at work where maybe you fucked something up, or you're trying real hard to get that promotion, or you're really trying to push to like that next level, or you've been working fucking you know twelve hour days. Like these are more realistic. Yeah, hey, when you come home with the guys, fuck that. Like, what about when you just got home from like a twelve hour shift and like you're just trying to 
like and your wife is just like oh i made you like you know your favorite little little dessert or i made you dinner or i did this or i did that you know what i mean after they've worked on their own eight hours like these are like realistic things not like oh we all came home from the bar what is this a fucking sitcom you know what i mean like where's the real world examples it's weird Makes him look good. With that That's what I want. Status. Suck a dick, sure. blah, blah, blah. Status. Listen, dick can only be sucked in so many ways. I, I mean, <laughs> can, no, and no, no, let's be serious about this. Have this you is, had the Gok Gok 3000? No no, 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 this is actually a serious point, right? This is a very serious point because the Western world has collapsed in real time and it's a failed society. And one of the reasons it's a failed nah, society okay. is because of the over-sexualization, especially of females as a whole. If a woman comes up to That's definitely a problem. Certainly not collapsing. All like Western societies are like the most powerful societies. It's not collapsed. There are particular issues, but it's performing better than other societies, so... He goes, I'll be the best sex you ever had. I am fucking revolted. I don't want the best sex I've ever had. I want you to be pure and a virgin. You shouldn't know what sex is. Cook my fucking dinner. Shut up. Don't, hey. talk, don't come and talk Wait, to me. You're fucking like a hundred different girls, though. You can't even make this point. You're not saying that Western society is oversexualized. You're saying women are oversexualized in society because you see them as objects. This is a problem for both men and women. Both men and women are oversexualized. Where there's too much of a sex focus, too much of a porn focus. But so why, why like, it's continuously like women, 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 it's like, dude, holy fuck. You can't, you can't say these arguments when you fucked hundreds of women. You're like, you're quite literally so emotionally stunted. that you're never going to find an actual, like reasonable relationship that's going to be productive or fucking emotionally healthy. I mean, realistically speaking, Tate has nowhere to speak on any type of relationship shit. That's like, if I try to give you fucking workout advice, it's just like, he's not married. He's never been in a long-term relationship. Like, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's fucked hundreds of women. His emotional availability is completely fucking dead. It's over for him. He's not... He's just coping at this point. I mean, we're talking about a guy that was so desperate to get fucking famous that he went on Big Brother. And he, like, sensationalized his story to try to be, like, that badass character. Blah, 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 blah. Like, this is what we're talking about. So, this, we're talking about a literal male Trish Paytas. I don't know why people value this any more than that. Tell me about fucking sucking dick is vile. It's disgusting. I don't want to hear that shit. Can I say something? I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> uh, what, what I want is a woman who makes me look good. No woman who's running around talking about sucking dick can make me look good. So I lose interest completely and utterly, and that's the truth. So what she's saying is completely correct. These are old school things, but it's not about the act. Yes, you can order food, of course. <laughs> it's about the status that comes with it. That's what it's about. Uh, Sagittarius spoken like a true one. Yeah. That is true. My man's a Sagittarius. Yes. Listen, Keeps you hyped. well, my man's a Sagittarius. So basically, it's a straight shooting sort of conversation. But I think that sometimes we get distracted and we talk about the bicker bicker of between men and women. I think that the problem that men and women have is the consequences of the bad decisions that the one percent of powerful men make on Thank our behalf God. because our problems are. Uh, yeah, I agree, hundred percent. She's speaking facts on a societal level, less than between woman and man. That is why there's a lot of competition between men. This chase for status that they will never get. Wait, why, men, why is that the fault of the one percent of men? Because they're the. One oh, okay, Jesus Christ. She's she. I, I believe what she's trying to say. I'm hoping, or she's just an idiot. Is she's talking about rich people that tend to be disproportionately men, like rich business owners that fuck people royally, the the people who run Amazon. Right, this is who I'm thinking she's talking about. If she's not, then she can fucking eat a dick. But it sounds like that's what she's saying. That's the point that she's trying to make. I don't, she gendered it. She should have just said the top one percent. Uh, but let's let's hope that's what she meant. Who's that drive the machine that runs this? The West. It's always been that way. Yeah, yeah there you and, go. But then think about the men that are at the top now. The corruption and everything that's going yeah. on. And this is why it feels very good to sit some, next to somebody like you and just say, do you know what? I appreciate that you say things that are really true you expose a very toxic truth and a very true truth oh, as well sure. that is out there but the reality is on the trenches when you go to the grassroots people don't feel the way that you feel it's not as simple as what you say they That's are true. victims of this system so my job here is true. really not to try and make it about men and women it's to make you understand that actually we need to start changing the narrative you don't want to make it about men and women they're women, both messed up on either side what are you talking about? She's having like a conversation that's like apparently Pearl's just a fucking moron and can't have a conversation with like any level of intelligence because like and I'm sorry for being rude, but she's talking about systemic issues of like people fucking poverty issues where like men and women are getting fucking financially like uh, fucking destroyed by like the one percent. And you guys are like, oh, let's bring it back to men and women. Because that's, like, all you are is, like, you're just a fucking diarrhea machine of, like, men versus women TikTok issues. That's literally it. When she's like, yeah, let's have a socioeconomic conversation. This is fucking embarrassing for you. Like, this is stupid. This is immature. If a person, if, like, a regular person heard this line, they'd be like, yeah, that's speaking facts. Yeah, I've been at my job where I've gotten fucked by uh, before. Uh, you know, like, I got my benefits cut. I got my, and which is something that happened to me. That's what she's speaking to, and you're like, yeah, but well, man, you just don't want to have this really dumb, immature conversation. Then women look bad. No, because it's about everybody together. Women yes, have their traumas. Men have their traumas. I'm not here to fight against men and women. That's small. I, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. He's 100 right. The idea, the idea that this one percent of men have created this terrible society. Yeah, I talk about that. I talk about the Matrix. I talk about these things. But it's always been this way. It's always been a small elite group of men who are in charge. 
of the world. Yeah, and it should change. <laughs> like it's it has gotten better objectively. Western like our society is objectively better than it used to be. It can change. We used to be like fucking serfs living off of land, getting like they're fucking all of our taxes, like all food taking. And now we have lived like substantially better lives. It's very it's proof that things can change. And it's okay that there is a ruling class, but there's also a point of oppression that people shouldn't put up with. And I think that we've we're we're getting pretty close to the meaning of that point. You know, when you're seeing uh when you're seeing fucking recessions devastate the average working man, but somehow financially lining fucking rich people. Yeah, I think that we could, there's a problem there. <clears throat> And unfortunately, now we're fighting battles in different ways. The, 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 the days of old, a man proved his worth by going to war. Basically, every man at any point in his life was going to end up going to war. And he came back victorious. He came back with honor. He got himself a wife. That's, that's how it worked, right? Schoolboy Pookie9 became a member. Hey, thanks for the membership. Sure. Are you saying we should just go back to war? What? Now men don't have to go to war as much what? depending on where you live in the world and it's slightly different and we fight our wars in other ways and one okay. of the true expressions of testosterone and trying to really express your ability and your combative ability now in the, in the modern world is power and influence so in the olden days you go to war you come back with a ribbon nowadays you got x amount of followers you most of the time you came back with severe ptsd and you were like a young kid that just got pushed into something that you like we shouldn't be going into war. i mean it just sounds like he's advocating for going to war this is dumb i don't the world with money i can bend reality with money Please understand, it's if true. I walk into Jimmy Choo, they lock the door. No brokies allowed in. Tate's here. And I buy whatever the fuck I want. There's lines outside because I'm there. Mm -hmm. I've been okay. the world with money. That's how, I, that's how the wars are now won. Yeah, you seem like the kind of person that's bad. You're not a good person for society. You're a net loss for us. You're a bad role model. I don't know. Like, Yeah, I could go around and abuse my money as much as I want. Wow, wow fucking incredible. Okay, great. So you're talking about <laughs> high status males and that it's always been that way. Now you have a whole contingent of men who aren't dead. Okay, they didn't die in a ditch, but they're lonely as fuck jerking off. And that's the oh, reality okay. of it. And, and women don't give a fuck about them. And why should you? I'm not sitting here actually what? shitting on women in any way. I think women. Well, yeah, no, women don't care about guys who are losers that are just fucking jerking off, just like men don't care about fucking girls like in a similar situations. What, what? Like I don't. Okay, take a shower. Like I'm, just, I'm not even kidding. Go take a shower. Get a hobby. Go get a job. You'll find women. Like 90 plus percent of the ways people find people is offline and like actual serious relationships. You want to find a serious relationship? Go get a fucking hobby. Go to the library. Go read. I'm not even kidding. Go get a fucking do something. Go become val valuable in some skill. Go to fucking something. Talk to more people in school. Like open up. Don't be afraid of failure. Have a biological instinct to a degree to try and find the best mate they can because it gives them the highest chance of survival in the harsh realities of the world. And if they look at a man who's not capable, they just don't feel an attraction to him. And that's the bottom line of it. And and that's why I actually most I'm, I'm largely misunderstood. I don't blame women for a lot of the problems. Women are guilty of certain things, but I have a massive amount of blame to place on men. Bro, you literally were saying before that men that women don't take accountability for themselves and men do I, I, or have to. I don't. What do you mean? You do blame women for <laughs> most of the problems of the world. You just backpedal at the second that you feel like you want to make an intelligent point or pretend there's to. There's so many men who are genuinely incompetent. I, mean, I was a chick. I wouldn't okay. fuck these losers either. So then why don't you advocate for the men to not be incompetent instead of shitting on women constantly? Like, I don't understand. Like, they're losers. Okay. So uh, it's, it's hard. Balance. It's hard. I love it. Do you know what I don't understand? Why it's not really balance. The 1%. All the women want to for the 1%. Why don't you just find a regular nine to five person that's going to look? Most women don't just look for a 1%. I don't know what fucking delusional world you're living in. Um, most women are just trying to fucking find somebody for the most part. Same thing with men. Most people are willing to just, you know, be with somebody on their own level. They're not that, women aren't that fucking like conceited. They're not mythical unicorns. What are you talking about? No, after you, you can be his queen. Why can't you just do that? Why is everybody really rushing? I've mm -hmm. got a man, we don't go on social media. If you want for part of what, no, no, about social media. Nine to five, I've got. Social media is a good point too, by the way. That's fucking incredibly toxic. Get off that fucking shit. It's really toxic for people. It gives them like really bad perspectives on the world. Um, that's how you find people like Andrew Tate. No, but it gives you really bad perspectives of the world. It teaches you to like get these short bursts of like dopamine. It's like, oh, I got some likes, I got some views. Oh, what's this part? It's just constant information fed into your face. Whether they're like uh, stealing your information so that they can give you the best advertisements uh, that would like you know, for so that you'll buy as much shit as possible. You know, pure fucking consumerism. Or they'll just hate farm you. That's what these algorithms are designed to do: is hate farm the fuck out of you. It's designed to get you to engage with shit that's going to make you feel more hateful as a person. Um, that's what they do, not intentionally, but that's what click get clicks. Hate, 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 hate. Click, 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 click. That's all it gets. That's what you want, and that's why Andrew Tate is popular because he generates as much hate as possible. He's just a fucking hate farmer. So 
like yeah try to get off social media too it's bad for your world perspe- perspective or perception i run property 32 years happy as larry what is the problem it's oh. not old-fashioned it can it works no auntie <laughs> let me clarify when i meant one percent is not the one percent of attraction i mean the actual people that are in charge of the things that run the world the way that what i'm does. trying to say is that it's always been an umbrella we've lived under but the difference the is so, underneath okay. it so why is it going to affect me i'll explain change you advocate for change okay why because oh. as sir mr andrew king tate said i i don't understand like oh it's always been like this so these guys are desperate to advocate for women to just change and be better but when somebody tries to have a systemic conversation about change ah, we can't change that why it sounds like you just don't want to engage in the conversation like that <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna as he said I'm gonna know thank she, I'm you gonna know what she's after. i'll have this one after this point it is i've been drinking lime juice as well so <laughs> as he very rightly said society has now evolved before men went to war mm-hmm. now men don't go to war so mm-hmm. there's a lot of sense of no purpose that they need to find and then on the women's side yeah you can find purpose at work you don't have to go to war to find purpose um most of the, you know, find a good job, but there's less jobs now. Technology is displacing jobs. There's another problem too. That top one percent issue that we were talking about before. Jobs are not in as much abundance as they used to be. That's what happens naturally. Is that the same way that a society evolved? They made men feel less purpose. They have now had to take on bigger purposes. They have to go to work like they didn't have to do before. They have to take care of the family and work and do all of these things, and now deal with the fact that men are feeling a little bit like. Out of what you know, no, she, no, what she, she, the rubbish. That ain't what I'm saying. No. Oh, you, get well. a, you get a nine to five person, right? What is wrong with you going out there? Find a regular nine to five person, right? You Nothing. can function underneath that. Because I'm always saying the women say, "Oh, we ain't got enough What's money. We ain't got enough that? money. Work with what the man's got. You're right. Work with what the man's got. You can make a man your alpha. Everybody wants to go and find these top earning money. Find a nine to five. Work regular. Save your money. Learn to cook and not have takeouts, and then save your money as I did before. Then you should direct sure. this to the men that feel upset it's because not, they're not like how you That's good advice for men and women. Yes, that's good. I hate that this is a constant immune disorder. No, but she's, she's completely, completely right. I'll give you, I'll tell you this. There's not a girl on this panel or on the planet today who couldn't walk outside and find a man who's going to be nice to her, loyal to her, and make her his queen. Mm-hmm. Women don't want that. So they'll sit there and go, no, I want Chris Brown. And then they'll go try to get Chris Brown. Then Chris Brown will cheat. And they'll be like, I can't believe he cheated. I am devastated. Well, what the fuck do you think is going to happen? If I go into the car garage, right, you have to make a decision what you truly want in your life. If you truly want to just find a man who's going to look after you and take care of you, you're going to be his queen, he's going to be loyal. You can find that all day, but you're going to have to settle to a degree where a lot of women perhaps are not prepared to do that. Mm. You see the, you see how women act. They'd rather chase a fraction of a real G's time than have 100% of the time of a fucking dude who they don't who they don't respect at that level. And it's kind of like going to a car dealership. You walk in there, you, if, you, if you want reliability, you can get a Nissan. But if you want to get a Ferrari, it comes with it comes with headaches. It's going to come with problems. So when girls say to me, oh, you know what, Andrew, you know, you should be loyal. To the... Men like me don't have to be. And you know that. So why mm-hmm. the fuck are you here trying to tell me what to do? Because you know I don't have to be loyal. And all the girls I'm fucking don't have to be loyal. So why are you sitting there pretending you expected me to be loyal when everyone knew from ground up day one it was never going to ever fucking happen? And you're still here. I think you're still gonna, texting. They're going to be the one that changes you. Well, no, yeah, of course they are. <laughs> That's the biggest mistake <laughs> that so girls who, make. So whose fault is this? This is the female decision. They sit there and decide, no, I want this, this, this. This is just like this terminal behavior. Like, yeah, listen, this is the women that they talk to. This is the women Andrew talks to in this sphere most women aren't just not like this simply put go outside i don't know what to tell you like yeah all the girls i want to talk to they only want like a top g like me because yeah because they're talking to you because they want to fuck you like hot take obviously more women want to fuck andrew tate than most of us but realistically speaking most women would rather not even associate themselves with andrew tate generally speaking obviously andrew tate's going to get like fucking 100 times more uh (laughs) opportunities than the rest of us but most women are just like yeah i'd rather not that's just weird and toxic. So. This, 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 this. Cool. Then you're going to have no, to accept. They, he ain't going to be loyal to you. He's barely going to reply to you. That's the game. <laughs> they like being cheated. I swear to God, this show has made me believe. I think women like to be cheated on. I don't. I, I swear to God. No, because all y'all ever Are you... talk about is your exes that cheated on you. That's all y'all ever talk about. And no. it's like. No, it's like only talked the... about that. The regular women that run here. The women that oh, come on okay. the show. Oh, good thing I'm a regular and extraordinary. Yeah. But you... Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. All the regular women that come on here. All the women that want high, val- high value men. They're always talking about getting cheated on. Wow, I wonder if it has to do with the men they're going for. You know, I think it's because we're not holding men accountable. So when a man, because he's a top G, cheats on a woman, it's like, well, what do you expect? When you should actually turn around to him and say... No, what do you expect? No, 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 no. Stop dating those men. Holding accountable just means stop dating. What do you want to do? Shoot them with a gun? Just stop dating them. You you want to set expectations on people like that? You're not going to be able to. Stop dating them. Like, okay. Account- no, accountable for- that's what's problem with all these fucking women too is like this woman here it's like she wants she wants the Andrew Tate that's not going to cheat that's a problem it's accountable cheating. for its natural it's evolutionary cheating. biology is cheating morally correct yes 
It depends. Yes. How, how do you say? Obviously, no, it's not morally correct. I mean, morals are subjective, but cheating is obviously bad. Cheating is is an absolute destructive d- destructor of trust. Um, and it's bad for a relationship. People who cheat, you're obviously going to see higher rates of divorce if you're a cheater, which means you're not going to be in your, your kid's life to the degree that you should be able to be in your kid's life. Cheating is bad. This isn't even like a hot take. I mean, this is so basic and fucking brain dead simple, but okay. Hey, how can you okay. say that? Are you you're joking? okay with your woman cheating on you then? Absolutely not. That's a wrong. No, because oh, it's a wrong when she cheats on you, but you can cheat on her. There has not been... In the history of humanity, across any culture, any book, any story, any fable, there has never been, across the history of humanity, any respect put on the name of a promiscuous female, ever. Ever. You name the biggest conquerors that you can possibly... Wasn't Jesus' best friend, like, a, a fucking prostitute? But okay. ...possibly named from history. Genghis Khan, Alexander the Great, all of them. Yeah, Genghis Khan, somebody who literally raped women. Incredible, Andrew Tate. You're, you're, this, is, this is the caliber... <laughs> This is the caliber that we're really pumping out, guys. Yeah, you remember Kangas Khan who just violently raped women all the time? Yeah, that guy was fucking awesome. Holy shit. What a base take from the great fucking Andrew Tate. They all had a hundred wives, bunch of children, Big G conquered the world. They just ra- they didn't have a wife. They raped people. I don't know about Al- Alexander the Great. Sure he did. Genghis Khan is like a fucking serial rapist. This is like an objective <laughs> Yeah, This is the guy. Yeah, this is the one we like. Yeah. I just couldn't imagine the boldness. Um, but okay, cool. Normal. That is normal evolutionary biology. That's how men are designed to be. There's it's never rapist, been a single female who's been celebrated for a promiscuity ever in history. It's always been frowned upon and disgusting. So yes, we are completely and utterly different. Okay. Yes, it's different if a woman cheats on a man. It's base as fuck to celebrate rapists. I love it. I like that Andrew Tate just celebrates. Yeah, Genghis Khan fucking love that rapist. That guy's awesome as fuck. And if a man Holy is at shit. a complete top level of his life and picks every single box, oh, and if he decides to be loyal, which some do, and I can be loyal, and I have been loyal, but there's also times in my life where I think, fuck it, I don't want to be, and get a new girlfriend every single day of the week, I can do that, and I can decide to do that. Woman- yeah, well, then you're just not a man. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Like, if you, It's one thing to be in an open relationship where the person knows you're fucking around. It's another thing to go and cheat on somebody. It's just loser shit. If you're going to do that, you're just not a man. I mean, you're a loser. Just be open about it. Like, who, Okay decides to do the same purely because her value is high enough to attract so many males because she's beautiful for example it is completely different and i'm gonna explain to you why it's completely different so buckle up it's Wait, different it's go. different it's different well i'll tell you why go it on, is impossible Sassy. for a female to be promiscuous on a long enough period of time without devaluing herself because she is fucking people she shouldn't be fucking there is no way she is sleeping with endless men and all of them are either high value men or treating her the way she should be treated who cares like when you uh, like i Let's like take a step away from the biological imperative bullshit nonsense. Let's take a step towards like real shit. One, people in general who have lots of sex with a lot of different partners, higher chances of STDs. Gross. Doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. Two, um, marital happiness rates for both men and women are drastically higher when they have less less and less partners. Okay. What does that mean? Like you reduce your ability to be in a relationship when you have a ton of partners for both a man and a woman. What are relationships good for? Taking care of kids. I'm a, I'm a general advocate of trying to find like that nuclear household for the most part. You know, I don't give a fuck if you're gay or straight or whatever, but that's a, my general advocation. If you're not with it, that's cool. But like you're just going to be less valuable to society if you're not raising kids in like a strong household. All right. And you need to learn to not, like every single time you fuck more and more people, you're just you're effectively just fucking uh desensitizing yourself and putting yourself in like a weird fucking space i don't know what to tell you it makes it more difficult to, to maintain fucking monogamous relationships the more sex that you've had but okay if you find a woman who slept with 50 100 dudes she's either fucking dudes which aren't at her level or haven't worked hard enough to try and get the pussy she's just too drunk to realize he's a loser who plays video games or she's fucking a top g who barely texts her back <laughs> so either way she's fucking dudes she shouldn't be fucking or a guy who's at the level who doesn't give her the right amount a nuclear of household is just like you know like two parent household for the most part basically shit like that Maybe I shouldn't say the nuclear household, but just like a fucking two parent household where you raise your fucking kids. That's that's like you. That's really I mean, that's the that's the core of my value. At least for a woman to find a guy who's truly on a level who truly treats her the way she should be treated. That's <laughs> once every couple years. If that you mean, yeah, just- which is cheating on them is treating women the way they should want to be treated. By the way, guys, that's Andrew Tate's base advocacy. So pretty, pretty base, bro to go out there fucking a new dude every week and say yeah he's worth pussy yeah he treats me good enough to get my pussy da, da, da. and you know what's funny about the universe i think it's that's actually beautiful i think that's just women being whores just like men are whores fucking around too much about the universe because it's equal and opposite forces when you devalue yourself it's kind of like men can smell it on you mm. they can just look at wow, a bitch and go crazy. Oh. And look at a works. bitch so you be very careful fucking as a female sitting, go, does this man truly deserve to fuck me and if you think about it the answer 99 percent of the time especially if you're promiscuous is no so when a woman <laughs> is sleeping around with all these men she's devaluing herself she's devaluing herself and the world knows god knows the universe knows when a man does it he doesn't devalue himself at all that's just the way it works can i ask you a question wait wait no, wait wait Esther, one second fuck boys are pretty not valuable <laughs> Most most people, most people, uh, it would would manifest as like a fuckboy. You're not particularly valuable if you're a fuckboy. You're a loser. 
Um, you're not sustainable and you're a fucking weirdo. I mean, I don't know what you want me to tell you. But okay. You but, so may I ask you a question? What would you say if a woman now is married to two men? Haram. Haram. Why? <laughs> No, wow. I'll tell you why. Let's talk about this. <laughs> what is it? I mean, if the woman's able to get two guys to want to be with her and take care of her, then why wouldn't that make her more valuable? I mean, the base difference between a man, let's say me, I have four wives, right? Okay, What's sure. the difference between a man having four wives and a woman having four men? You can impregnate. Like, who cares? The, outside of the pregnancy aspect, who really gives a sh uh, fucking, who cares? Impregnate the four wives at the same time. You can impregnate the four wives at the same time, and we know who the parents are, right? So yes. you, let's say you had four pregnancies, you know who the mother is, because she's carrying the baby, and you uh. know who the dad is, top G. If you had a woman with four men, and she gets pregnant, who's, who's the parents? What hey, about check it out. Most people don't want that type of relationship. Uh, this is uh, what what a bizarre yeah 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 what about four what about just one on one like most people are pretty much like you know if we're gonna talk about the biological tumen of men wanting to fuck around with different girls let's talk about the biological tumen of women wanting to like lock down a man to make like a you know what I mean I mean I I don't know dude most people can't handle this type of relationship if you can god bless you boy or a girl but you're not exactly going to be if you're a guy that has a bunch of girls and you're not going to be raising like you're gonna have struggle you're going to struggle to raise people in a household. Okay, whether it's a boy or a girl. But no, but I'm asking. Do okay, you know? I ask, what if they're different races? Answer white, the question. Black. You don't Answer know. the question. You don't yes. know. Now, modern science can come along and maybe fix that for you, but that doesn't mean it's not wrong in the eyes of God. The idea of having a family, the idea of a child being born, one of the baselines for a new life to come onto this planet is for at least to understand who the two people who made oh, it are, at least. Did. If you have a woman fucking four dudes, you don't even know who, who, who got her pregnant. So may I just it's say... It's disgusting. Wait, wait. Have, you, have, may, you, have you seen the twins that had two different dads? Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, I saw that. May I just say something then? So if that is the case, yeah, if the one thing that you're meant to have is you, at least you know who the two people that put that child on earth are then that's why promiscuity for men is also a problem because they get women pregnant sometimes they don't even know they have children that's around no no yeah it's wrong too it's completely different it's different because you have to understand <laughs> wasn't he just talking about it being religious what i mean isn't that not wrong it's it's a bad thing to be going around fucking a bunch of people and then getting a bunch of people pregnant and not being there for your kid. How is that not bad? Why is that different? What? And I'm talking about humans. You look at humans from a societal perspective, and but society has changed, right? So let's say two, three hundred years ago. If a woman got pregnant, she needed a man to survive. If that man didn't take care of her during pregnancy, she was going to die. She couldn't work a job. She couldn't hunt, couldn't fish, whatever. Maybe. How many hundreds of years ago? Ever, right? Society has changed. Because you have to understand, I'm talking about. Humans, you look at humans from a societal perspective, and but society has changed, right? So let's say two, three hundred years ago, if a woman got pregnant, she needed a man to survive. I kind of, I feel like you maybe you you meant two or three thousand years ago. Okay. If that man didn't take care of her during pregnancy, she was going to die. She couldn't work a job, she couldn't hunt, couldn't fish, whatever, right? A woman literally needed that man for survival. I mean, women did used to work. They'd be like bar maidens or okay, whatever. Bible. So if. If you were to come to me and say I'm pregnant, but you've been fucked by four different dudes, mm -hmm. I'd be like, who says it's mine? Why am I looking after you? Why are you deflecting and like pivoting to a different spot? Literally, the conversation is like, what about the guys who are going around fucking a bunch of women having kids that they don't know about? Oh, that's bad. They're bad. They're bad men. You're a bad person. Take care of your kids, you fucking loser. Both men and women. None of them want to look after her. She will literally perish. This is why most of the world today, still today, virginity is so coveted. And throughout all of history, it's been so coveted because that's the only way to ensure paternity. Mm -hmm. She's a virgin. I know that's my baby. She ain't a virgin. Prove it's mine. Outside of this. <laughs> Get the test. Get a paternity test. Use what we call common sense and, you know, not being fucking dumb. Hey, uh, I haven't fucked anybody. Yeah, I'm not a virgin, but I'm not fucking anybody else. Okay, it's probably my kid. Okay. You get a paternity test. You don't need to be a virgin to prove that it's your baby. I mean, this is like, I, I this is some of the most. <laughs> the logic is incredible here. You, okay. This modern science bullshit, shaitan, the devil we have here in the West, and most of the world today, without virginity or at least a low body count or at least uh, anti promiscuity, you can't tell that that's your baby. So it's a completely yeah, different yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, we don't have like any of these. We have nothing that we could do to circumvent those issues. Yeah. The idea of a man, a woman being pregnant and coming to a group of men and saying, one of you has to take care of me and put up with me when I'm fat and moody and annoying and I need my bills paid. And all the men are going to yeah. sit there and go, no, <laughs> fuck no, prove it to mine. You can't prove it. Bounce. We're well, I mean, if you're a cuck that's willing to be with one woman and four guys, you're probably going to be fine to raising someone else's baby, but okay. Different. If I get four women pregnant, we know that we know yeah. the deal. Okay, so let me ask you a question. So obviously, back then, for survival, women needed a man. Otherwise, when they were pregnant, they could die, and all of these things they would perish. In today's society, given evolution, given the fact that as women we can you go still and get, need men. yeah, but I'm I'm not saying that. Isn't there a glitch between what is actually happening and the nature of what we have in our bodies? I think that's probably the conflict that we're having right now. Glitch in what way? 
in the sense that women don't feel like they need men in the most physical sense, we, perhaps yeah, like right. naturally. It's, it's very interesting. Women don't feel like they need men in a physical sense because life is soft, but it's, mm. but, it's, but it's bullshit. And it's bullshit because you still need men by proxy, one. And two, the second life gets difficult, you very quickly you very quickly learn how much you need men. But women will go, I'm independent, I don't need no man because I have an OnlyFans and men bay my OnlyFans and if anyone comes up to me, I'll call a male police officer. I don't need men. Shut up, fucking idiot. Of course you do. Mm. You just named your whole life is based on fucking men. The road you're driving on was paved by a man. The house you're living in was built by a man. The car you're driving was, was designed by a man. Your whole life depends on men. And the second First of all, men and women need each other for different things, for sure. But I really, uh, it's funny. I, I I hate this like really childish, embarrassing, embarrassing, ooh, a little, little embarrassing. I hate this childish perspective on like men built everything. The reason I don't like it is because there are toxic feminists who will go, uh, men created the patriarchy and men have done all the bad things because men have been in positions of power. And then men will usually be like, well, I didn't do those things and I wouldn't, I don't want to be like associated with like all the bad things that other men have done. I agree. But then the second that it comes to jerking off and like stealing all the accolades of, 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 of from people that you have nothing in common with that you, the, all that is, they're just happen to be men. All of a sudden you want to identify with men. Like you don't get to have both. Either you're going to over identify with you being a man and you created all the things and you also created all the evils in the world, or you can be intelligent and realize that you're just an individual person. That's all it really boils down to. So yeah, okay. If anything bad were to happen to you, the second you were physically threatened, or times were to get hard, or war were to start, or famine, or riots, the first thing you do is find a big strong man, shit yourself, and throw the feminism out the window. Mm. Feminism goes out the fucking window the second that the snow needs shoveling, or there's a fucking broken down car, or the tire needs changing, then all that crap vanishes. I learned all these things from my mother because my father left my mother. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, cool. Yeah, it's garbage. And this is the like I get it. Men are stronger than women. It's cool. Men have that like particular thing. Men are better at fighting than women. Women tend to be better at caretaking. It's a good thing we have each other. Doesn't. But of course, guys, we have to engage in the the TikTok man versus woman fucking back and forth. So cool. very interesting thing. I'll make a point here, which is gonna get me canceled again. But I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but, but, but this is the point. Feminism in and of itself can't be defended. Any idea, the point of an idea is that it can be defended by the people who believe in it. This has been the whole point of war since the dawn of time. It doesn't matter if it was the Christians against oh, the Hindus. Okay. It doesn't matter if it was sure, the Germans so. against the French. There were people who... Because women can't fight wars. They can't advocate for themselves. The, you, okay, let's see ideas and ideologies and they're prepared to fight each other to defend their ideology. Feminism okay. is an ideology which cannot be defended by feminists. The only people who can defend feminism are the men who subscribe to the garbage. If, you, if all the feminists were to get in a, in, a, in a line and say, we want feminism, and the conservative men were getting in a line, you would learn very quickly it's bullshit. I had a friend in Afghanistan when Taliban kicked America out. Cool. So, like, the, my favorite part about this is that, like, I think most people would agree one of the things about being a man is to protect people who need protecting, right? Maybe you say, protect people who are weaker than you. Maybe that's how you like to define it. I say protect people who need defending, which is, you can protect. You can defend people in different ways. You know, depends on what it is. So you say, yeah, Papa God, I agree. That's what part of being a man is. And then you hear Andrew Tate saying, but basically, men should just be able to steam because women can't defend themselves physically. Men should be able to steam, steamroll them, and feminist is garbage because of that. An absolute like anti advocation of actually protecting people who need protection. It's just about women being able to do the same jobs as men if they are capable it's really it it's not that fucking deep bro it doesn't have to, we don't have to talk about this like why does everything have to be i can beat you up like it's pathetic it's childish and it's not and it, it shows a profound lack of control of your emotions when your first thing is well i could beat you up though okay i mean who created guns it wasn't people like andrew tate it was in, it was it was fucking nerds. Nerds created fucking technology and guns that are basically running the world now. So this idea that even like this type of fist fighting is how that we don't even fight wars this way anymore. For the most part, the wars are really fought through like fucking cybersecurity and hacking. A bunch of big dumb nerds are running the fucking world now. That's the type of men that are running the world that are making the most money. Not people who, you know, for the most part make their money taking advantage of men and women through webcam shows online and trying to be fucking popular at any means necessary, fucking shilling out for a uh, big brother. And he told me the Americans were, tell were telling the girls they could go to school. So they built all these girls' schools, and they put the Afghanistani defense forces there, and they get funded the Afghanistani defense forces to, to, to protect these schools. You had American satellites. You had night vision goggles. Taliban were afraid to attack. America leaves. Cool. Now you have the Afghani defense forces. They're basically blind. They don't have satellites anymore. Don't, they don't. Yeah, didn't you say that America shouldn't have been there, though? You're advocating against America instilling those values? So I don't understand. I have a night vision, whatever. So now it's a real war. The men are standing next to this girl's school. The Taliban are coming. You're some dude. You're standing there. And you're looking at this girl's school going, 
I don't really give a fuck if girls go to school. Bounce. And you just and you didn't fight. So that's why they all gave up and Taliban took over so quickly. And when I said this, the girl's like, yeah, they should have fought for us, feminism. To, why don't the women fight? Can I ask oh, wait, the women can't defend their own fucking idea. You need men to defend feminism. So what you're saying is women shouldn't be able to go to school. That's just the outcome of what he's saying. Like, I mean, just say it. Just You're, you're a fucking dumb idiot. Okay. So that's why the whole thing is stupid. Because so, the second men don't defend Jesus it, Christ. it just fails as a fucking ideology. Hey, guys, women should not be able to go to school. Basis. Fuck, guys. Like, I don't understand. Like, that's what he's advocating for. Just say, I don't think women should be able to go to school. Like, is that not an idea worth fighting for? Like, what if we were born women? What if I was born a woman? I would like to live in a world that's like at least mostly, uh, you know, a lot, you know, provides me equal opportunity. Like, it's garbage. May I tell you something now? So this is the thing. This is when we assume that women perhaps don't have the physical or even mental ability to go to assume, a war. Assume. Wait, wait, wait. Because- they have it, but it's usually not in the same degree. Like, unfortunately, they're not as usually as physically strong. But okay. This is the thing. For example, in Ukraine, a lot of women took up arms. And in fact, I'm Angolan. Wait, wait. I'm Angolan. Wait, wait. I'm Angolan. And don't lie. Listen. To the people at home. Wait, no worries. I'll talk about yeah, my personal you story. Go to war? You no, fight wait. Let lines? me tell you. Let me tell you something. This is the thing. I, th- I don't. Who actually wants to go to war? You know? Who's trying to go to You know what I mean? I don't know. I think it's okay. also really like <laughs> silly to assume that, for example, a woman, because she didn't go to school, she'll not be as intelligent as a man. Therefore, naturally, a woman is not intelligent. No, it doesn't make sense. If we're not starting to normalize equality and we want to put everybody in the forefront, give a woman a Who's gun. normalizing equality? Well, that's what, what people are wanting. Then that, that's People the like who? Let me tell you, Who auntie, wants to normalize let, equality? People like who? Feminists? Who no, else wants to? I want, well, actually, no equality. I want respect. That's really no, what I want. stopping you from getting respect. Exactly. No, no, I get respect. I, I, I get, respect. get respect. Well, I mean, we're just talking about how it's super based that the Taliban took away women's rights to go to university. So, you know, that's not super duper equal, in my opinion. I get respect. That's, that's what I want. That's what I like. Respect. What I think is, you never know what you want. I'll tell you what I you want. Know what you want. You I, as a woman, I carry myself respect. differently. I actually hold the things that I have done in the fight side for. I hold it. That's why when you speak to me, I don't move different. I move different to many of the girls. That's why when you talk to me and you argue with me, I, I don't, don't take it. You. you do sometimes. I tell you. And I'll I don't tell you something. Argue. A lot of women may have the accolades to be somebody, but they are uncomfortable to own that. And the reason why, then I would like to ask you, for example, um, I do need a, woman, a man, for example, to, you know, procreate. But other than that, I'm quite strong. And I would find things, I would find a way to protect myself differently. With that mentality, Denava, what would be the man that would be for me then? Denava, Denava, what would you do if one of these security guards broke into your door? <laughs> what would I do? <laughs> hey guys, hey guys, I just want to be treated as equal, and I think I can in the society we've crafted as men and women, both supporting each other in different ways. What happens if somebody decides to go fucking ape shit and break in and try to beat you up? Oh, I don't know, they'd go to jail. That's what would happen. What hap- What would happen if we would lived in the... Pr- I don't know. What would happen if we didn't have fucking toilet paper anymore? Like, what would... Ha- I-, I don't understand. What would happen? What would happen if we fundamentally allowed people to bully each other just because it was fucking based? I mean, what? what's the argument here? Like, let's just bring back racism because some races have more fucking uh, financial equipment to be able to oppress other people. If we're just going to play fucking bully culture back and forth, you see how, like, dumb it gets when we play bully culture? It's just, like, it's fucking dumb. Okay, I'll tell you. What would you do? What would you do? Seriously, there's no guns here. I'll tell you. No, I'm not a feminist. I'm I'm not. I'm not a feminist. I'm. I'm a bit smarter. Okay, Either okay. I'd play no, dead, one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, they see you're not dead. Uh, it's okay. They, they no, I'd be breathing. like this. And then if not, maybe I would kind of like be very gentle and comply to find a way to get out okay, of it. So if they want to come and kill an, me, there's not much that many people but can let's do. let's make an important point. You're let's, talking about equality. Let's make an important point. Men and women are, men are strong women. Wow, you're so fucking profound. Holy fuck. Equality is not about people being exactly equal. It's about the equality of opportunity, being able to, if you have the ability to do a job, being able to adhere to it, and respecting what femin- like femininity brings to society as much as masculinity in different ways, right? Masculinity tends to be like infrastructure building, things like that. Femininity tends to be like caretaking and like empathy. These are very powerful things. These are things that drive our forces forward, all right? This is what like I would say like mental health advocacy has been because of femininity. It's like generally been you're a pussy if you have mental health struggles. We've changed that because femininity has been a little bit more important. All those guys who go to war and get their brains fucked up because they get fucking PTSD. I would say that femininity, valuing that mental health struggle, is what's like give us pretty significant, you know, uh, strides in supporting those men and women, but mostly men who get PTSD. Like that's why femininity is important. Like holy fuck, we act like this is such a. It's, we act like this is an insane fucking like we're shitting or coming our pants or something. It's like it's not that fucking deep. It's not. It's incredibly simple. 
equaling respect. The way you get respect as a woman is by being feminine. There's nothing, uh, we can be equal and very, very different. I'm not saying that we, there's not equality, but you've confused equality with the same. You can be equal equity. with completely different things. You can have a bishop and a knight on a chessboard. They're equal in terms of points, but they do different things, right? Mm. A woman can have equal respect to a man if she is very good at being a woman, and a man gets respect for being very good at being a man. When a woman decides she wants to act like a man or a man wants to act like a woman, that's where all gets fucked up. We try to pretend. Yeah. What are we talking about? Like, what? Like, so when women try to be managers at jobs, that's when people don't respect them? Like, I don't know. Like, is that what you're saying? Like, managers tend to be male jobs. What are we talking about here? This is just disconnected from the real world. Like, Tate's never worked a real job. Like, I had female and male bosses. They both, you know, pros and cons. They all command a respect. I didn't disrespect the, the, the women bosses just because they were women. That would be dumb and fucking unintelligent. Yes. That's what I'm saying. It's not the same. Men and women are good at different things. We have different strengths, different weaknesses. There's nothing wrong sure. with accepting that. There's nothing wrong with saying, I'm a woman, I'm good at X, he's a man, he's good at Y. Then we work together as a team, we have a beautiful family, we're happy forever. Well, you, you, but you, you're, you're pretending that, right? Because again, you want to, like, women can be really good if they go to university, but you don't really seem to give a shit about that. So, like, you don't really respect the differences men and women have or, like, the strengths that women have. You just, you respect what you think women should be doing based on, like, the way that you want to have this dynamic with women. You're an idiot. Like, I don't know what to tell it's you. It's only confused where you have women who sit and go, no, because in the name of equality, we can fight in war. There's no fucking women on the front line in Ukraine. That is psyop bullshit. They put some chick there dancing around doing Pokemon <laughs> dances to try and convince men to go fucking die in a ditch. It's garbage. If you go to the front line of Ukraine right now, you do not see women in their makeup and their manicures. You see fucking men in the freezing cold dying. You know where the women are? Dubai. Chilling. That's where the women are. So mm. to sit and pretend that women are just as capable physically as men is a fucking lie. It's delusion. To send that you're as strong as men is delusion. You are good no at way. other things. Nobody's you're saying that. You're bringing, you're constantly bringing the argument there because somebody said women should go to university and you said nope, men strong, beat them up. Like that's the whole foundation. Is every time somebody you get confronted with anything that's beyond your fucking brain to engage with, you just say men can beat women up. That's literally your argument every single time. Like I don't know what you're talking about. We're better than men at a lot of things, but it's not the physical world and the unfortunate reality about life. This is what we're saying when I was saying earlier that feminism goes out the window when things get hard. The harder the world gets, it, the, it, the closer it gets to the baseline of humanity, the unfortunate baseline of, rea of, of humanity is violence. Yeah. That's what happens. when, if, if all the electricity were to go out and all the police were to quit, this would become a violent place very quickly and there would be fucking zero feminists left. Zero. Oh, uh, yeah. A lot of men and women would die and nobody wants that. That's We're talking about an unrealistic a fucking destruction of our the collapse of our society. <laughs> a fucking insane world. Okay, cool. You would all need men. That's yeah, you know, if a fucking Jesus Christ came down from the heavens and started fucking striking thunder upon us, what would you do then, feminists? Like, holy fuck, like, this isn't going to happen. And if it does, we're all fucked in general, not just the fucking women. Men and women, we're, we're all fucked. How's that sound? So the bottom line of reality that's the bottom line for, whatever so you have to yes. understand as a woman and say okay no i need a man who's good at being a man so no but, one's saying yeah. that we don't need men in society of course we do we're talking about relationships yeah you're strong but the thing is i can live my life as a woman and not need a man what's a woman uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh pearl stop like it in my in my day-to-day -day life i don't need a man to fix my car i'll just go to the mechanic but listen right so yeah. what is a mechanic a man but, or a woman no no i'm saying yes we need men in society but in relationships the only reason i actually need you is because i want you i don't actually need you do you know what I, have babies. Well, I need i need you to procreate yes i agree but the things i don't need you in my day-to-day -day life what what if, you know, but wait what, wait what if someone breaks into your house i'll just call the police okay what if they don't come what if it, the average you shoot them with a gun you take a gun and you shoot them women can have guns too how do we like that then? Schoolboy Pookie 9 super chatted $4.99. I got fired from my job before Christmas because I had an eye infection and couldn't see. Listening to your streams really helped me through. Thank you. Damn, bro, that sucks. That's fucked up, man. I'm sorry about that. I hope at least your eye infection's gotten better. That's pretty fucked, my brother. Play in, dead. The US, in the U.S., it takes like 15 <laughs> and give them everything. In, in, the fifth, in, in the U.S., it takes like fifteen that minutes is, for them to get there. But that's not realistic. Wait, that okay, doesn't okay, happen no, on okay, a day-to-day okay, okay. day life. These well, two guys in your in your house. What are you doing? But that's not realistic. I've not had any man break into my house on a day-to-day. -day. It doesn't. Point. You shoot them with a gun. You shoot them until they're dead. Like there you go. There's your answer. I get a gun and I shoot them because guns are the great equalizer. The point, the point is. So let's be realistic I know, I know now. I know what you're saying, but the, the point is this. The point is. When we're talking about feminism as a whole, feminism as a whole demonizes men. And you just said... You just no, it doesn't. There are branches of feminism that does, just as you guys demonize women. That's why most of your advocacy centralizes on breaking women down instead of building men up. Like, you'll throw in the occasional men are fucking losers, but then you mostly just shit on women relentlessly. And you just say that as basically like a virtue signal to try to pretend like you're some kind of like objective individual. And you're not. You're very clearly very biased. Um, yeah, there is some TikTok feminism, the boy girl bullshit. That's what a, that break. That's what shits on men. 
just like you should on women. So you just sat and said, besides procreation, I don't need a man in my life. I can go to a male mechanic or call a male police officer. They're men. So it's it, in it's, society, so, you are needed. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Okay, of so, course, so, we need you. Of course. So you're talking about being with a man because you want to. So my, yeah. my question to you is, why would you want to be with a man? Why would a man want to be with you? Because they're sexy. Like, I feel like because of the <laughs> family. No, 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 I love men. No, I love dick. We don't okay? sound like it, but it's not all about I dick. What I'm trying to say is, uh, in a good relationship, right, one that works, there's blue jobs and there's pink jobs. <laughs> right, and that's the problem that women have got. Oh, geez. They don't want to be doing no pink jobs. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about relationships. Why do you need a man in a relationship? What is like a blue job? What does a blue and a pink job mean? Well, look, if you... What does that mean? Are we talking about um What are we talking about? Like are we talking about like jobs that men and women perform generally? Yeah. Okay. Uh like what? Like what's an example? I'm just cuz like for the most part women can like men should be cooking and cleaning. Women should be mowing the lawn and taking out the garbage. Right? We should all be kind of doing these different things. Um, you know what I mean? Those those differentials are kind of going away. You should be a self sufficient person so that you don't really need another person in your life. Relationship because you want a partner, what what companionship, partner? friendship, you romantic love, love things that you can't get yeah. by yourself. Take, like you want to go on dates with him. It's not about I need someone to fix my car. Like True. go to a mechanic. <laughs> You're not safe. Call the police. Not like true. it's not. Wait, what about, what about, wait, wait. What about a fun? That's really true. For the most part, just find somebody you're compatible with that you get along with together. I don't fix my car. I call a fucking mechanic. I don't give a shit. It's not my fucking job. I'd rather pay somebody who's good at it to deal with that shit. Um, but yeah, that's like it's a lot more than just boy girl. That's why gay relationships work perfectly fine because like people are a little more complex than just boy girl. You know, pee pee Johnny. Uh, like yeah, it's cool to be able to confide in somebody and build like a deep level of trust with. Uh, that's a pretty cool thing. It's a it's a nice thing. It's love. I mean, that sounds cringe, but like it's a very important thing. And that's why, like, nobody in the manosphere is ever going to be truly happy. because they're not, like, understanding how to, like, have the ebb and flow of a relationship and, like, actually building with somebody. And it's, it's hard. It's a very difficult thing to do. Um, weak people, like, weak men and women tend to want other weak men and women. Like, like, a, like a, a fake strong man or a fake strong woman is going to want somebody who's weak so that they can roll over them because they're pathetic. Um. You're not truly a strong person unless you date another strong person that's going to fight back against you a little bit and give you a little bit of a hard time, you know? Have I ever lived before? <laughs> yeah, I'll never live that one down, huh? Father to your kids. You don't think your kids exactly. need a dad? You can be around. I, I, I definitely want that. These are the stuff that Yeah, you know. father to your kids. Like, when you're advocating for fucking cheating, you're not gonna, it's not going to be a very good father to your kids that's going to stay around. If you let a man cheat on you, they're going to roll over you. They're going to think you're fucking pathetic. It's just an objective fact. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Wait, no, you, you need that. that. That's and, not, and I that's agree. Not, wait, wait, wait. It's not. It's not that you want it. You need it. I agree. And these are the stuff that I need in a man. But it's like at the end of the day, it's not like I completely need you. But, like, I want the whole, you. but the whole point mm. is, if the lights went out tomorrow, you would need a man. It's no okay, but like that's not going to happen. Like we're talking about these insane. If the lights went out tomorrow, you need a man. Yeah, and men would still need women to procreate and take care of kids, et cetera, et cetera. We're not. We don't live in those times. You're bringing it to like these unrealistic areas that you could try to get a virtuous wing, but it's win. But it's like holy fuck. All she's saying is that, like, she's just making a point about independence and setting standards for herself. And you guys are going off the fucking deep end every single time. A little self-respect. Like, like, no, 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 I'm saying it's not that I'm trying to tie up. I'm saying, I'm saying if, if the lights went out tomorrow, you would need someone to protect you. You yes, would. of course. In society, not my boyfriend. I'll go on the ground. Like, half of my exes can't even do anything. Can I, yo. Holy fuck, bro. If the entire world collapsed tomorrow, you need men. Yeah, Jesus Christ. What a fucking scenario. Poor That's choice. actually another Poor problem. Choice. A lot of men can't do much. Do you know what I mean? Not everybody's in this day and age, In this day and age, guys can't even Listen, fit a tire. You cannot. You cannot. No, no, no. I can cook. 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 I can this is why you can't blame all men for your poor choices. You can't say, I'm talking to both of you because you're saying, yeah, my man can't do this. My man can't do that. What, and you want to settle down. Why would you go and choose a man that can't do these things that you wanted them to do? Because my man could do all the blue jobs. I need a man. Because most men grow up with a PlayStation instead. Most men grow up with a PlayStation and porn and things. Yeah, it's it's not, it's not, no, that's the truth. It's not, it's speak, not. For, speak for yourself. That's a good point too, though. Like, why not call out the men and the women if you're going to do it? Like, yeah, there are guys who are addicted to fucking porn, bro. It's just, it's just addictive. Porn and video games, bro. Like, it's, listen, these things aren't bad in moderation. Nothing is bad in moderation. But, like, listen, man. And, like, I know it's a little hypocritical because I'm sitting here playing games. But I get paid to do this. So, lucky me, right? 
But the reality is, man, is that video games are cool. It's a cool outlet to be able to like vent some of your frustrations on. It's cool to build into something, but the reality is, is it does nothing for you in any productive capacity. I gave up video game. I, I didn't. I have. I didn't play video games for like six or eight years of my life because I was just working constantly, and I was able to come back because I was able to like you know get a level of you know TikTok fame. Woo! And it allowed me to come back to playing video games. But I gave that shit up to work 60-hour work weeks to get my life together, and I would have been fine with putting it down altogether. You have to get row up and get your shit done. Do it in moderation. And if you can't do it because you're not living the life that you want to be able to live comfortably, give them up. That's the reality. It's a big deal. Porn is going to destroy your relationship with women. Back and forth, both men and women. Women tend to be a little more like uh, story, like storytelling though. Like my wife reads more porn, and I like watch porn. But I think it's like a little bit of a different relationship when you're like watching it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just wrong. But these are things that you have to fucking. These are issues and addictions you have to conquer. And like you should be advocating to men to be a little bit stronger instead of just blaming women for everything. Like what? What? This is the problem. Is that like it's it's so hyper focused on shitting on women. Like dude, criticize some of these men. Don't just call them. Oh, you're a loser. Like constructive criticism. Like, hey, listen, this is a bad thing. You're going to have to give this thing up. I know it makes you feel good, but there's no long-term positive capacity at playing a video game. Like, you really need to get your shit together. You might have to give it up. You might have to, you know, do something clever. Cycle to phone games, like, on your commute to work. Take the train. You're on there for an hour. Go on there. That's what a lot of people in, like, China do. That's why, like, phone games, like, mobile, like, MMOs and stuff are becoming popular. They play on their, there. It's real problems, bro. Why don't we, like, if we want to talk about, like, a, a, a male issue that we could conquer... It's like, how about we like start considering video game addiction a real addiction and providing like economic support for it in a way of like somehow like I think they do this in China again rehab facilities for people who are addicted to video games. You know, like talk about things like, hey, this is an issue that disproportionately negatively impacts men, porn addictions, and fucking video game addictions. Which oh oh let's 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 support that infrastructure more. Oh cool. Hey, here's at, like not a single thing that they've ever said in this entire conversation has built men up in any capacity. It's just them jerking each other off because or Andrew Tate jerk himself off because he's the super fucking based money maker. Like there's no, hasn't been a single bit of building men. It's just been jer- a circle jerk of men cool. There's, there's like holy fuck. Listen, I'll tell you what, I don't need a mechanic you know, like we friends. You know I need a father to my children. I don't need Ooh. something, right? She needs a, a police father. officer. Gonna, she needs a father for her children, right? Yeah. So she's going to go out there, right? And you're going to buy your child an electric car. You're going to go and buy your child a bicycle. Who the hell is going to buy the bicycle and fix the electric car? Who's gonna- uh, I don't know. A bicycle mechan- repair person? You got YouTube. I know how to do these Bro, things. I, I yeah, fix it's true. My mom. That's the thing. Is my mom. I, I mean, I come from a bias. My mom literally did all these things herself. My mom does all her housework. All like I'm talking about, like like installing like her toilet and stuff. Like women can do these things as well. YouTube videos are fucking incredible, by the way. You can really get a lot out of value out of that. Why I do fixed you the money? And you can do everything yourself. Go and get some sperm donor or something because you obviously don't need a man. Because, That's the future. Uh, I think, and the thing you know? is, no, the future for who? Not what she's saying. She's just saying that she wants values for like a supportive husband and. Cheating is not a value like that. It's pretty basic stuff, but no, of that's the society. problem. Because at the end of the day, what listen, year are you living in? The what year that year you are you living in? in? Because I, hang on, let me finish talking. Let me finish talking, 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 right? talking, 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 talking right? <laughs> now you got you got a man, right? And you've been busy all day, right? And you're in your bed at one o'clock in the morning, and your man comes in with all of his friends and said, "Oh, babes, all the friends are here. They're hungry. What are you gonna do? You go home. Get the fuck out of here. What? What is this scenario? Right." And you've been, okay, okay, let me finish okay, talking, okay, let me finish talking, right? <laughs> now, you got, you got a man, right? And you've been busy all day, right? And you're yeah. in your bed at one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And your man comes in with all of his friends and said, oh, babes, all the friends are here. They're hungry. What are you going to do? What, what? What's the expectation? If I came home at one o'clock in the morning and with all my friends and my wife was sleeping, she would kick my ass if I was loud. What? What? I'm ass- assuming the expectation is to make a bunch of food for the man, make a steak. What is it? Yeah, I'll cook for my I tell man. him to. I tell him to be quiet. Man, I'm I'm a traditional woman in that aspect. Uh, yeah, in I love aspect. to cook what for my man. That when people start cooking, what are you talking about? What, what world do you live in? They think that cooking is traditional. It's, it's everything. It's not just about cooking. But, they always. Right? You just said blue jobs and yellow uh, fucking pink jobs. So like, yeah, what's happening right now? I have a question. Are you a virgin? What, what was the point of what she was saying? What was what is he, what does she want as the outcome? Did she just want to yell? Like what was her point? Bro, my wife would kill me. I'd kill my wife too. What do you what's happening here? What what deluded world are we living in? Be quiet if you're coming at one in the morning. What? 
You're traditional, you're a virgin. Are you a virgin? I, no, no, I, virgin. I said, virgin. I said in that aspect. I'm not going to comment on me being a virgin or not. But what I'm going to say is, Every every human being should be able to cook. She's a man she's a hybrid of person that survives. You know, I need to cook to, to right. survive. Can, can I ask, yeah. ask Mister Take something? Right, right. I'm gonna ask you something. Sure. <laughs> right, because I, I I can't I don't like bullshit. Right, and like, there's lots of people that I can't. Yeah, yeah, we get it. You like him, right? so I'm gonna talk to him because so far he's talking sense. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's giving pick me. Right. Uh -uh. Listen, pick me. Listen, who said it? Who just said pick me? They want me. Don't look at me. I said it. I said it. You know, I find it really interesting that like people, it's so funny that people will be like, Papa Cut, you don't really understand. Oh. Despite the fact that I was like poly for a long time and I only like, you know, within the last couple of years, like really closed my relationship off to like that legitimate dating and shit. I don't know the dating world, right? But like this fucking 50 something year old woman, people will jerk her off and be like, yeah, she's right about everything. How? She hasn't been in the dating world for a long time. What? what you know what I mean? Holy fuck. Give him, pick me. Give him, pick me. We're having a whole listen, conversation. Right, listen, right. Right. I don't want to talk to you. Hold on to Mr. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I've been with my man for 32 years. Clap right? for yourself. 32 years. Pretty and I cool. need to clap for myself because I'm happy. I'm not here. And what I was going to ask him, right, is... That's pretty cool, man. It's cool that you're in a relationship for 32 years. It's awesome. You know what's crazy is that, like, um, I have, like, you know, grandparents that were in a relationship for a, an incredibly long time. And you know what's crazy? None of them advocated for these dumb fucking perspectives on men and women. My Bapshi and Jaji, who were together forever, you know, and by the way, God, uh, you know, God bless my Jaji. Rest in peace, of course. Incredible man who was one of the very, you know, influential men in my life who taught me how to be a man. Never, never talked about any type of uh, subjugation from women. Always treated his wife, as far as I could tell, very well. Um, she would make him dinner, and he would like do the dishes. They would do the dishes together. You know, there was a lot of like ebb and flow. There was like a traditional sense there where he tended to like work more, and she tended to take care of the household more. But there was no disrespect, or they've never once said, uh, "Dan, that's my name, by the way, Papa Gut." That's what they call me. No, just, you have to find a woman that'll do all these things for. No, never once. In fact, a lot of my family who are tend to be more traditional love my wife. My wife is a woman who works 40 hours a week. She's strong. She's ambitious. Uh, she's an incredible woman. And you can go, oh, lady, talk about your wife so much. She's fuck, you know, cope. Get jealous, bro. Nobody's like, well, sh well she should really stay whole, but bleh, bleh, and start shitting and coming themselves. In fact, they like the fact that she does that because this way they know that she's not going to take advantage of me. Like, I don't understand. Like, it's just so weird. I've never heard these, like, these super regressive, like, women should do and men should do all this bullshit from the most successful relationships I've ever known. It's mostly just two people working and doing what they have to do to have a successful fucking relationship. Right? Uh, I mean, there's roles tend to be taken. Like, my uncle, and rest in peace to him, too. He's another one of the very influential men in my life. Um, he worked like 70 hours a week and my aunt worked like 40 and then she would do like, you know, more of the, 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 the stay, like take home, take uh, taking care of the home shit, of course. But there was no like advocation for this is how it has to be and all these like weird disrespectful aspects. It was two people who got together and then they orchestrated their relationship in the way that, that generated success. And they did lean in different ways, right? Because as a man, I rather work longer hours than fucking take care of the home, right? Like I could if I really wanted to, but I don't want to. Right? That's what most men I think don't want to. You know? And you should that's why I value when my wife will do things I don't want to do, because I don't fucking do it, bro. And I respect that. Like I think people look at it like, oh, well, my wife takes care of the house and home because she's such a weak inferior woman. No, it's because you don't want to. I don't want to. That's why I respect that role. I'm not about that life, brother. Do it if I got to, but who the fuck wants to do that shit? You know, that's why people have to value that stuff. Acting like it's like the easiest thing in the world to like take care of your house and shit. It's annoying. It's work I don't want to do. That's why I'm fucking, you know, I still do it and I help my wife out because she works, but you know what I mean? Jacob Sides super chatted $9.99. Merry late Christmas, papa. Very base, very poggers. Thank you so much, brother. Why Merry Christmas to you, too. Would you think that woman? Would you think that woman? Just calm down. I'm, I'm, I'm loud. I'm literally, you don't want to hear me shout. Anyway, Mr. Tate, like I was saying before we got rudely interrupted, right? Oh. Now, if you, is this your idea of a woman that you think deserves a man? I'm here, single, but I'm, I'm looking. I'm here. I'm, I'm like taking, you know, if you want to hook me up, let me know. And I just want any and anybody but killed. choose. How does that make you feel? Uh, what is that what? kind of woman that you think deserves a man? Well, he's a top G. That sounds like somebody who has a fucking, like a mental disorder. Like, that's just like rambling. What woman is that? Are you, what? I'm asking him this question. But you don't want top G, isn't it? We're mere mortals, Andy. Speak for yourself. I'm no mere mortal. I'm a mere mortal in his presence. Because nobody, nobody Come on now. Me. Which kind of question be that? Andy, I'm like you. We have options. I'm a mere mortal. I'm like man. We have options, Andy. I should just watch the TRO video. 5. That is the most stupid thing. Where's your ring? That is the most stupid thing. I actually 
can choose. I have no fundamental I, I want to be with. I okay, that's fine. Where's your ring? Like, Andrew Tate's not in a relationship. He's, he pretends just like, I don't want to say anything. He's not, for all we know, none of you are in any relationship except for this one old woman. And you never have women on that, like, know what the fuck they're talking about. Like, invite a woman on that, like, has self respect. Like, that actually, not, like, excuse me. But about a woman on who's in a stable relationship. You always find these fucking people who are either 30 years old, still haven't found somebody, haven't settled down because they probably have too high standards. Or these fucking girls from like 18 in the clubs. Like, I have a woman on that, like, oh, I didn't heal for a dungeon. I'm such a fucking goober. Um, have somebody on <laughs> that, like, is actually in a successful relationship. But we don't see those. We find the women that we get to like, oh, yeah, see, this is good. This 30 year old woman that's not in the relationship. Yeah, stop picking those to bring, come onto the show. Apparently, he's married with a couple of his of baby mothers. Yeah, I'm, that's incredible. <laughs> why is, apparently, why? That's fucking incredible. I know your reality. I know your reality. Stop, 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 is you want to beg a man to keep you? I'm going to minute. I'm going to minute. I'm going to minute. I'm going to minute. minute. You said, unlike you, yeah. I have options. We have options. Yeah. You're out here looking for a man. You're out here saying that you're looking Wait, for a man. Wait, I said I was looking for a man. Oh my gosh, you was at the advertising when we done the introductions. I'll That's what you said. I said I was doing that interviews. That is what you said. I didn't say I was going out oh looking for a man. God. I said I'm doing interviews. Hey, you can't you say, say I'm going to decide I'm if I want you. Mr. Tate, listen to, listen to this insult, right? Listen to the insult. I'm not insulting listen, you. Hang on. Listen, oh, I'm then what do you call it? Sign language. What, I'm learning. Sign language. <laughs> right? Listen to what she just said to me. Unlike you, I have options. Fucking 32 years. You think I want options? I'm happy with my man. It's giving you don't have much options though. Because the way you're like, it's not big me. Auntie, oh, okay. uh, she meant clout. Like, wait, wait. Giving, she like, meant, she meant, so Esther, I'm point. sure you didn't mean pick me. You meant clout chaser. Is oh, that what it is? It doesn't matter. matter. We can go with that too. I'm sorry. Matter. I was just trying to clarify it your problem. Matter. I was just problem. saying. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So, I've totally just, lost it. Just, Why would I want to have options when I've been in a happy relationship for 32 no, years? I value women have different children from different women, right? Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't have any negative impact on like the child or anything and getting less attention. <laughs> Based as fuck, dude. Chases his Good fans. Point. It don't make I no just, sense. I just, I just you can monetize that, I'm, on YouTube I'm with just, clout. Why are you calling her a pig? Bro, I'm just gonna. I'm literally every time I watch. Like, I'm not even kidding. Every time I watch high value mail, absolute vomit. Every time I watch this vomit from just probably things or fresh and fit or Andrew Tate, I literally just get closer to becoming like a fucking like a devout conservative fucking like religious <laughs> person. It's like holy fuck. I mean, this is just. Uh, it's it's so stupid. Like, I honestly couldn't give you, like, any worse values than fucking people in this sphere. It's incredible. Pick me when you were the one advertising at the beginning of the show. I said I'm doing interviews. I wasn't advertising okay. nothing. Okay. It's okay. banter. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Do you guys okay, okay, understand okay. what an okay. interview means? Okay. What, what, right, right. what She's being right. spicy, so, guys. Stop so, it. So, uh, Auntie had a question for Andrew. Oh, yeah. What was your question? Oh, she asked already. He didn't answer because everybody's too busy jumping. Ask your everybody's too busy jumping in. I already asked, but you're too busy jumping in and being women. He's to be, patient. To be listening. So He's now ready you, to get now married. You can all shut up and let him answer, innit? I'll, I'll answer. Yeah. So, so to, to go back to one of my earlier points, firstly, to make it clear in the disagreement, I agree with, of course, I think everyone knows who I agree with. But um, <laughs> I do. Because you know what it is, though? You know what's actually funny? What's funny? The things that she's saying are common knowledge 20, 30 years ago. This is how the world functioned. This is how the whole world functioned. The things I say that somehow people believe are controversial are exactly the way the world functioned in like the 90s, the 80s, the 70s. All of the entire period of human history, men had a role of masculinity, women had a role of femininity, we worked as a team. Now the world's come along and they've destroyed- Everybody knows this. Like, you're not saying anything profound at all. Like, this isn't, okay. Wait and broken everything. And there's this okay. new progressive think and this new generation of women who yeah. seem to believe- I wanna go to school. we completely <laughs> fuck it all up, it's gonna end up better. And my argument to that is, listen, we went from walking around in fields and small nomadic groups to building cities, to building the pyramids, to going to the moon. We managed to go from a few thousand to billions of people, populate the entire planet, build canals, build skyscrapers, cities. All of this sure. was done based on the back of man being a man, woman being a woman, working together as a family. And now I was destroyed. Now, now and now you're advocating for ideology that doesn't advocate for a family. So you, like, I, I just stop it. Stop. Like your your advocation doesn't create a strong family unit. Your advocation creates men who fuck around and aren't there for their kids because they're they have too much of the priority of finding a bunch of other people to fuck instead of staying home. Like I don't know what you're talking about. Like this is the this is the most destructive aspect. If you have like a fucking guy who goes around fucking as many women as possible, saying that I should be able to do whatever I want, it's, a, it's saying that it's not a moral bad. Oh, it's a moral good thing for men to cheat. Yeah, this is the guy. This is the guy that should be advocating for like you know for like. Yeah, this is how things used to be. No, what are you talking about? There were like incredibly strong like religious values that kept men from fucking other people. Like that was the whole point of <laughs> like tying men down because it was bad. Because when men go around and fuck around, it's like bad for society. And here you go, you got those people advocating for that. 
just going around fucking around like dude what are you talking about holy shit like you're not you <laughs> this it's incredible it's incredible bro money really just inflates people's egos to the point where they think that they're actually valuable when they're not like i'll say this before like andrew tate's a great man he's done a lot of things he's he, he's popular he's successful financially but he's not a good man at all he's not good for society he's fucking abysmal garbage like this is the fucking dog shit rhetoric they're gonna come along and fuck it up if it's not broke don't it's think destroyed that's it's been destroyed gonna... man has destroyed earth what are you talking about it's no. been bad decisions from powerful men that man. Got men i love that i love that he'll okay I like, I don't know. It just, the whole thing just reads so bizarre to me. Men Go to wars built, and for women to lose husbands. Men, men built. Men earth. make decisions for war. Listen, men, men built men. the earth. Listen to me. Men built the earth. I'm not saying men are perfect, but the entire world that you're existing under was built by men. Yes, yeah, sure. Oh, women, uh, I just don't know what to tell you. Women have been an incredible support structure to these men building. And this is the part that you just fundamentally lack the ability to understand. It's like, yeah, men tend to, to do like the infrastructure aspects, like the war. Yeah, and women tended to like take care of the house and home and literally push human beings out of their vaginas. Like it's pretty these two these two things are very important things to do. And as society has changed, we've we've adapted and we've done different things. You live in the society that you're claiming is so terrible, but like you benefit, you reap from it because you're the top one percent. And like it's easy to just keep us distracted with man, man bad, woman bad, instead of just actually engaged with like the rich people are bad. This motherfucker like says like I wanted to leave country so that I could also be corrupt instead of just the politicians. Like yeah, wow, base as fuck, dude. <laughs> like holy shit. So so and the point I'm making is now we're entering a world of new think. And the problem with Newthink is it's not tested. I don't give a shit what anyone's opinion is. What I can state as a matter of fact is we had 5,000 years of history that tells us how the world works with X and Y together. Mm -hmm. We're now entering a new paradigm. 5,000 5, years. years of history. So whatever you believe about how it's going to work or it's going to be better or worse, whatever, that's just you guessing. Everyone is guessing, right? So we're entering a brand new paradigm and everything's completely <laughs> fucked up. The point you were making earlier, which is... A I like how he's never he's not being specific about like what's the issue with like women working, for instance. <laughs> Like, he's like, we're entering this new fucking world. Like, give me an example of a problem. Ah, uh, women going to to school? Like, what are some of the bad parts of it? Women going to school. What's bad with that? Women in the workforce. What's bad with that? What's the issue? I can explain what's bad with, you know, cheating. You know, it doesn't really help a relationship, especially when it's unapologetic. You think it's a moral good. Fucking like men not like, you know, settling down with women. Women not selling down with men. What's the what's the good at? Like, what is he referring to? He's just saying things. Be more specific. What's the bad thing about the world changing? It's a fantastic one about if I pick a woman who's advertising, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Men always, please keep this in mind. If you're especially if you're a female, people always say, you know, the number of emails I get from girls who say you don't give enough girl game. I'll give you girl game right now. <laughs> Your man wants status. That's what he wants. You need to find a way to make him look good to the world and to his friends. If, so how do you do that? I'll tell you. Oh, one of the ways a man can get status is to get a girl that no one can get. That's a very Im simple way, right? So I said not ready to mingle. I did right. Okay, no, no, but this is the truth, right? If you, if I date a girl, and she's perfect in every way, head to toe, mm -hmm. and then I say oh, I've met this girl. Yeah, she's this, she's this. Oh yeah, I took her for a date. Even if you didn't fuck her, if you fuck her, no, no, I just went for a date. So you went. The, it, the attraction mm. goes from this to zero. Done. And it may not, what? not for some men, because some men haven't got choices. But men like me, who genuinely have unlimited options, we want complete exclusivity. That's what we're looking for because that gives status. That's what you're looking for. So you have to be very careful as a female with all of your actions, all of your interactions with your boyfriend or when you're looking for a boyfriend, etc. And say, am I going to make my man look better by doing X or look worse? Sim sure. I mean, if you really dumb it down, that's some advice. Sure. Don't make your partner look bad. Right? Uh, yeah. I, I just, I, 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 let's put this into like human speak. You want a partner that respects you so that people go like, oh, good partner. Like, <laughs> that's it. That's who you want. Like, let me give you a for instance, right? The other day, my mother-in-law, um, she called my, my, my wife. She was home. And she's like, oh, my car. My car broke down, right? I'm at my car. My, my tire's like out of air. I'm at the thing. I got to go see my mother in the hospital. This, like, okay. So what did I do? Like, I, I got in the car. I drove over there. I told her to take my car. And then she, I took care of the car. I, I, I felt like I got the... Because there was like the, the valve stem came out of the, the thing. So I was able to get enough tire, uh, air in the tire, drop it off the mechanic. Right? And like now my wife's like, wow, like what an incredible guy. Like he did a thing that I, I don't really know how to do. Like obviously more of a man role for sure. And like he, you know, I, I can make her feel good about that. But then there's offsets to that where like my wife will do things that like I don't necessarily like know how to do. Right. Or like I don't want to do 
that like make me look better <clears throat> by association. Like, and you might think that this is stupid, but like my, my my wife makes like the food when we go to family parties. She made like a whole batch of cookies that she gave out. So like my family and her family, like they're really good. I like that a lot. It makes me look good. Oh wow, you're like you know how it, it feels good when we were like, wow, your wife is a really good cook. Your wife is really, like my wife will go when we go to any family event. My wife will make like a uh, like some kind of a dish. Always an incredible dish. Wow, your wife's a really good this. Wow, your wife's great. Yeah, like do these things. Like this is obviously a very valuable thing that people do back and forth, bro. Like it's that's how you do it in human speak. Be somebody worth bragging about, whether you're a man or a woman. For sure, it's just like the way he says it is just so bizarre and like disconnected uh status 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 like just do things that make you look good as a partner and make your partner look good and make sure you're getting the reciprocation back from them so that you're not just giving up all like your abilities to somebody who doesn't appreciate you that's how you say it in like the human world instead of this like fucking diluted high value male bullshit speech like it's a normal way to say it holy fuck there's nothing my wife does for me like she she takes care of my family communication i don't text my mother <laughs> I don't text my mother. I don't text anybody. My wife, all my family, she tells me when all the events are happening. All this, I just don't want to deal with it. That's pretty cool. I like that. You know? There you go. That's fucking basic shit, dude. Holy fuck. Simple things. I've had endless arguments about girls' nights out, right? Oh, you're insecure. Da, da, da. It's not about insecure. I don't give a fuck if no man talks to you all night long. I don't care if you're going out and you're going to an all-girl club. I don't care. I know that when my boys say, oh, all the girls are going out, and I say, not my girl, she stays home. Okay. I look good. That's, that's it. That's she stays thing. home. Okay. She doesn't go out. She doesn't, want, she doesn't want to go out without me. That's status. It's not okay. about the night out. It's about the status of being the man in the house. That's what it's just a, not an issue I personally have. My wife doesn't go. Well, that's the thing is I didn't meet my wife at a club or a bar, so she doesn't constantly go out with her friends to clubs or bars. But if she wanted to, I would just let her go out because I don't really care because I can trust my wife. Uh, I don't care. I mean, I, like she also doesn't go to like fucking like all, she's not going to go to like a fucking like club or a bar that's like a club or a bar like one of the, like these guys go to. She'll just go to like a normal person bar with her friends to drink. She's not going to like a fucking hoeing bar, you know. So what a man wants, he wants respect. He wants to be the man of the house. I say she stays home. She stays home. Big G, boom, boom. Well, That's what we big want. G. Can I ask you something? What about what the, 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 the woman when you're What are you thinking? What's the game you get for the boys? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, but before that, I need another Clementine, and I need to give half to our friend here because she just rolled her eyes at me, and I'm perspicacious. I notice everything. She doesn't realize that I'm a ninja. I detect these things, even when I'm looking directly. I can detect it. So That's I'm gonna, give her, I'm gonna give her some of my Clementine, and she's gonna feel better. So I'm gonna get Clementine. I think he wears shades because he said he has bad eye problems. Because so I, I, I just remember from a long time ago him saying something like that. Would you like some Clementine, my dear? I'm sure. You want some Clementine? I, I just, I think for me, it's like. I, I asked you a question. Would you yeah, I would love some. Yeah. You want some Clementine? Yeah. We're going to hook it up. Okay. It's a weird condescension, like embarrassing. Okay. Really? What, oh, it's just weirdly like, being condescending to her. She's not even really speaking. And he just feels, the, I don't understand it. Like, just a fundamental lack of respect. Clementine coming. All right. Go on. Continue. Okay. okay. No, I mean, cool. I just feel like this is definitely a different conversation for me because I, I'm very open minded. I love hearing different <laughs> perspectives. And I do feel like. Um, this is a newer idea. Like, like you said, it was in the last 30, 40 years. This is a new concept. We don't know how it's going to end. I just know from, from like my experience, other women that I've met as well, it's like the reason for even like relationships, why they're not lasting is because people don't want to put up with the disrespect. And like, even when you were talking about like, Oh, it's okay for me to cheat, but not for you. My thing is, is like, why not have transparency and have it be polygamous, poly, uh, polyamorous, whatever works for you. That's like yeah. to me where it loses me with the traditional. Yeah. So you absolutely like, there you go. Even if it's one sided, if you guys agree to a relationship contract, at least you guys are laying it out there and there's a level of respect that's being uh, given to each other. Stuff. I get it. It's All like, right. why can't we have so, transparency? Okay. If I sign up for that, cool. So how does it? No, no, no man, no man in millionaire. Let's all be realistic, right? No man in millionaire is gonna feed, meet a girl he likes and go. I want to be polyamorous. Like, come on, that's gay. Let's cut this bullshit. Why so, is that gay? Is gay consent is gay, guys? <laughs> like, oh, consensual relationships are gay. I did that. I was in a poly relationship. Like, who, who cares? Why is that gay? Like, being honest with women is fucking gay, guys. <laughs> like, what the fuck does that mean? So let's let's be realistic. Oh how does a man God. show love to a woman? Tell Exclusivity. Me. Wrong. That is how time, people, resources, wrong. and something else. Time, resources. So yeah. that's a good. That's a good way to start. So sexual exclusivity is how female shows primarily. Okay, but like fucking other people is giving up time. I don't. I, 
I don't. It doesn't need to be that. This is like gaslight. Like it's disrespectful to cheat on your partner. It's not that deep. If you if you're in a relationship and it's agreed upon to do whatever, then be my guest. But like this, this doesn't need to be this deep conversation. Andrew Tate has to go through this pseudo intellectual fucking um, like mind fucking hoop jump just to get to the point where men should be able to cheat. Ugh, it's you're dumb. You're being stupid. Like just stop. It's embarrassing. It's just a stupid thing to say. Stop telling people that men should be able to cheat. It's disrespectful. I don't understand it. I'm gonna fucking die. Fuck you, Andrew Tate. I died because of you. Early, primarily that she's interested in a man. He's the only man who has sexual access to me because I can get pregnant, and, I, I, and this man is the only man who can do it. That's how it's done. A man, yes, I'm not saying all men can cheat. I'm not saying all men should cheat. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that if I truly love a woman, she won't sit there and go, he shows me his love because he doesn't fuck anyone else. She'll sit there and go, he shows me his love because my bills are paid. I'm in a Bentley. You're dumb. I don't know what to tell you. Like This is just disconnected. For, you're advocating for cheating. You could pretend like, I'm not advocating. You are advocating for it. It would be so easy to say, men shouldn't cheat. That's all it is. People shouldn't cheat. That's it. Should be that easy to say, but it's not. It's not for Andrew Tate because he wants to defend cheating. Like it's just, just stop. It's transparent. Like it just stop. It's embarrassing. I drive fly private. I go to Dubai anytime I want. I have a Chanel bag. That I, and I'm not talking about just money. I'm talking about resource and a lifestyle as a whole. This is not just me. This is the world and most of the world today. If you go to Moscow and you find a, a big G, a rich guy, right? He has big his G. wife. She's pushing a Bentley. She has the kids. She's living in a mansion. Whatever. When he goes to the club with his boys, you think he ain't with 19 year old surfers? Of course he fucking is. Can I ask? Wow, it sounds like a loser. Like just don't be that guy. That's pathetic. Those aren't people that are having a good impact on the world. So oh, I don't care about them. It's like, whatever, don't care. I'm the one who has the money. Don't give a shit. So you have to sit there and to a point you have to sit cool. and analyze the- I mean, so you're just a glorified prostitute at that point. So like, yeah, if you don't respect yourself, they be with somebody who cheats on you religiously, okay? The difference when you're saying disrespect, if you're gonna if you're gonna go through life as a woman and say, I only care about the sexual exclusivity of my man, then what you're gonna end up doing is having a bunch That's of- That's not what they're saying. Failed relationships and fucking loads of dudes. Okay. They're no, you're not. You're not gonna have that problem. Like this is, so this is like people, if you're a man and you're listening to this, you should be offended because Andrew Tate's just saying you're a fucking- Dude, I it was queued up. Andrew Tate's just saying that you're a brain dead fucking animal that just wants to have sex all the time and you can't like cope without it. <laughs> like that's it. It's pathetic. Like I don't understand how you have like such a low expectations of men. It's fucking pathetic. It has to get a point where you go, you know what? This guy ticks so many boxes. Once a year, twice a year, he's out with his boys, does some dumb shit. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't notice because my bills are paid. I'm looked after. He, I can tell he cares about me. If I have a problem, he's gonna fix it. He ticks so many. That's the smart female move. As opposed to go, I don't care how good he is to me. He fucked that bitch once, so I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna get another man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah, cope. Listen, bro. You're acting like women don't provide any value in relationships. This is the problem. It's like, yeah, if if he's taking care of all this, this, and this, you you, you know. A guy is not going to just leave you. If you're a good woman and you're like, don't cheat on me, the guy's not just going to leave you and be like, well, I could go find it. No, you probably can't. You probably can't. If you're in this fucking like deluded fantasy world where like obviously you have all this money, you can do whatever you want. Be my guest. But the average man shouldn't be playing these fucking games. This is stupid. Who I don't love will fuck another bitch anyway, and then I'll get another man who I don't love will fuck another bitch. It's end of cycle of dumb shit. Can I have a question? Is I love how we need to change women. The modern woman is bad, but we can't change the men fucking around. Like, we can't advocate for that, Dayton, right? Ever okay. cheating, that's too far. <laughs> like, so if a guy cheats on a girl, is there ever a point where she... Yeah, there's a lot of cheating. There's completely a lot of cheating. So, like, if he, if he knocks up another girl, would you Compl say that's too All right, far? all right. So, yeah. f first things first, I'm a man of my word. I don't even think I'm a liar. So here's your Clementine. <laughs> Thank you. And he peeled it. I'm a gentleman. I'm a gentleman. Cool. Right. So obviously, I'm not saying blatantly disrespect your woman, right? You are. She's your Jesus woman. She's your queen. She's the most important sister. thing in the world to you. She needs to be treated in a way that she feels that, right? But it's unfortunate. Because I keep tying back to this baseline point. But the reason I keep going back to this baseline point is to try and explain to everybody at home how simple world the world can be if you go back to the baselines of it. Why do men cheat? Most women don't know. You'll see them all the time. Why do men cheat? Uh most of the time men cheat just for something different. It's more of like this innate like desire to conquer for the most part. Um, there's probably also aspects where like maybe there's like a boringness or something, I guess. I mean, both men and women can adhere to that, sure. Um, it's more physical, sure. If you're saying that if a guy cheats, they make a mistake and they cheat and they should be, you know, maybe they should be given another chance. Okay, that's fine. But that's different from saying that, like, it's a moral good to cheat, which is what he said before. Oh, because men are just stupid. And why do men fuck girls uglier than their main chick? Why do men do all this stuff? They had do you know moment. why? I'll tell you why. Let's go back to the first thing I've been saying this whole time. Status. Yeah, that's my chick. She's home. Took this one home. Yeah, I got that one. She's chasing me. That's status. Dead. Status. Status. But it's but it, it's stupid to what? females. I get it. But that's the male world because sexual access is an easy indicator of status. So that's one of the reasons they do it, right? So you have to go back into the baseline of why men even cheat in the first place. I'm telling you, if you're a woman, the smartest thing. So why why use your platform to advocate and allow cheating? <laughs> like it's so fucking embarrassing. It's a loser shit. Look after your man. Make him not want to cheat. Be perfect. But there's going to be a time across a 20 year marriage. You might just need to be a little bit blind.
a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Just don't look at his phone. So and you'll be cool. So, you'll be so, cool. So, just make sure the bills are paid. He does his jobs. What no, if I'm you can saying, pay your own bills, but, but no, though? Like, I'm telling you right now, if you do that as a woman, like, your guy's going to roll over you, and I respect you. So, you know, good luck with that if you decide to do that. We'll talk about that in a second. But I'm not saying allow this for some fucking Joe Schmo. I'm not saying let some fucking loser pick you up and lock you down and go to you. Right. Know, I'm not saying that. I'm saying if he's a G and he's doing enough of his other jobs. As for you saying, what if you can pay your own bills? Then, then what's the reality you face? Just like I described earlier, I'm going to decide that the thing that I prioritize above everything, above his resource, above the amount he cares for me, you'll see men cheat on a woman and then cry his eyes out trying to get that woman back. He still loves you. It's not the same as if you cheated. He loves you with all his heart. He'd die for you. He'd take a bullet for you and he'd still fuck that bitch. It doesn't matter. It's a different game for men, right? So you're sitting there going, well, I don't, I'm going to prioritize his sexual exclusivity over all of his other cal- all of his other attributes. You're just going to end up having endless failed relationships, fucking too many dudes, and yeah. then what's going to happen is your psychology is going to break because females don't like to accept the fact that if you sleep with enough men and you get rid of the stigma around a new dick, your instant answer is constantly new dick. Ah, he didn't text me today. Fuck it. Someone else. Ah, he was rude to me. Fuck it. I'll cheat. Ah. Men do the same thing. I, it's, okay. This is exhausting. Ah, he was this. I'll get a new boyfriend. And then you end up just jumping on cock all day and you're fucking done. You need to, the, the reality is you have to come to a point where you get a guy and he ticks boxes and you're like, you know what? I'm wifey. I've got the Bentley. He does whatever. He- I mean, I, I mean I'm, at, I'm at a point now where like I'm getting, like I'm getting so bored of like the manosphere nonsense because the reality is, is what's, here's what's going to happen. Okay, the men who listen to these people are just going to be fucking worthless failures. You're going to think that you're like this cool guy, but you're going to be a fucking loser failure that's not going to be able to reproduce because of you. Because you listen to some dumb fucking idiot that wanted to be famous on Big Brother so bad that he decided to create this entire this sensationalized fucking persona. And that's what you want to be. And like, it doesn't matter anymore. Like, I'm just so boring listening to these stupid fucking people talk about shit they have no idea what they're talking about they have like a surface level understanding of relationships and they pretend to be these fucking relationship gurus it's incredible it's just like it's fucking boring over and over and over again like this is the whole conversation and who cares like you're just gonna be if you decide to listen to andrew tate good because at least we know that you're not going to be in the gene pool anymore because nobody's going to give a fuck about you. No one's going to respect you. Everybody's going to think you're a fucking moron. That's really where it boils down to at this point. That's it. Like, it's fucking exhausting. He does, but my bills are paid. That's so it. When, when, would you say when would you say it's too far? I'm, I'm just curious if there's a line that you would, like, if he spends money on another girl, if he, like, when does it? Okay, that's a good and, question. And other second question, do you think that men ever fall in love with side chicks? Very good question. Yes, of course and they do. a long and in-depth answer. Putting your fucking dick in somebody makes you have a higher chance of falling in love with them. Of course, you can fall in love with a side chick. Like, that's the problem with sex. Sex is something that, like, it's a very intimate, intimate relationship. I see, like, that's real, whether you're a guy or a girl. Men can generally have more disconnected sex, but, like, either way, a guy or girl, you're going to have a higher chance of, like, fucking... Falling in love, which is why you shouldn't be doing this shit. But it's a good question. Let me feel my clementine. But um, no, but it's a good question. Where it's too far. I think publicly disrespecting is too far. So like you'll you'll notice. Let's take the Moscow G. All right. Let's take an oligarch, a billionaire from Moscow. He has his wife. He has the girls he's in the club with. The girls he's in the club with wouldn't fucking dare message his wife. Okay. So the fact that they are that he, it's known that he cheats is is disrespectful for his girl. So just so you know that. They wouldn't dare step out of line. Like they know their place, right? So if there's a hierarchy and they know their place, that's one way of doing it. Spending money on a girl, certainly, yeah, because men show love primarily through our through our hard work. Not just through our resource, but through our hard work. If you take a man who's not particularly rich, he shows his wife love by getting up every day, going to work nine to five, working his ass off and paying those bills. That's how he shows love. That's why he does it for his wife and his children. Most men are out here working bullshit jobs, carrying trash. They're doing that to show love. So show get What are you talking about? What? People who work in like the sanitation department make a good amount of money, at least here. What do you mean? What? Carrying trash? That's a really good job with solid benefits. But okay, cool. Getting money, yeah. That would be a far more scary indicator than just sex. Let me give you all an example. I don't know if you all know my history, but I used to run a webcam business a long time ago. Don't want to talk about it. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but I had okay. a bunch of girls who used to sit online and talk to guys. And- hey, guys. there. Hey, guys. We have an issue with young men do- looking at porn. By the way, I am the lead provider of this problem. <laughs> Incredible. This is the guy that cares about you guys. He's so morally aligned, he's engaging in your self-destruction. And they had laptops, right? Incredible. This was a long time ago. And I used to sit and say to some of the webcam girls, I'd say, this man who is sitting in and logging in every night and sending you money every day and telling you he's obsessed with you from the other side of the world and missing out on time with his family to sit here and talk to you and send you money, 
That is a more loser. cheating than if he just went out and banged something. If he went out and banged something and came home, yeah. then done. But he's sitting here giving you his time, his money, uh, his sure. affection. That's cheating for a man. For a man to sit there and give money and time away, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have to stop this idea of sexual exclusivity. Yes, that's for females. That's how females show their love to men. It's not <laughs> how high status, at least, males show their love to females. And and anyone who wants to disagree with me, call me wrong, call me misogynist, whatever bullshit. Yep. Look at a history book. Every king, every sultan, history. every conqueror, every emperor, every knight, mm. all of them, all of them had maidens, wives, all of them. Wow. That's, that's history. Crazy. What level of G do you have to be to be allowed to cheat? Well, no, no, no. It's not about even being allowed to cheat. I'm not even mm. saying that. And it also depends on the partner you're with. I'm not trying to sit here and advocate for men to run around and fuck a bunch of women. I'm not you, saying that. That's what you literally are, but okay. Cool. No, but I'm not. No, no, no. no, let no, no. Explain. You are, because at no point have you said that this is a bad thing. Like, that's the problem. You just like, you, you could literally just say, oh, this is a really bad thing. You shouldn't do it. But you can't even do, do the bare minimum. So, like, yes, you're advocating for this thing. Hey, let him land. Let no, him land. It's about okay. to come. Now, watch this. Let him land. Though. No, but I'm, on, not. Then. I, I'm not. What I'm actually trying to do is describe the baseline unfortunate realities of human dynamics. Mm. And, and I'm trying to explain now to the world that any woman can get a man who will not cheat on her if she's prepared to sacrifice a bunch of other things, perhaps, right? In the olden days, it was different. The world was a different place. It was a completely different place, and it was better. Now it's all fucked up. It's fucked up on a... Yeah, personally, I love the racism of the older day, because then we wouldn't have to hear Andrew Tate, because, you know, we didn't listen to black people. How are the fucking old days better? What are you talking about? The old days are, like, objectively worse. We had less technology, and we had more fucking oppression. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Like, what the fucking points are you, are you saying? You, you don't even make logical sense every level and men especially the high status men most of them have struggled so hard to become high status they've been through so much shit to get where they are it's like telling him if you most high most people that are in like higher like will have a higher status came from money in some capacity and had an easier up on life what are you talking about now he's just pushing this idea that people who are rich like really worked for it some people do most most people don't the overwhelming majority of people who are very successful came from money even if it wasn't as much but they had a really big starting point what are you even talking about you're just saying things now you're just jerking off rich people holy fuck climb this mountain you can go to a candy store and he climbs to the top of the mountain and the second he's in the candy store after one piece of candy that bitch is saying no no more candy He's like, no, I just climbed this mountain. I just got rich. I just went through X, Y, Z. I finally got here. I'm finally in the candy store. And now you're telling me I can only have one piece of candy? Okay. What man's going to do you think, do, you think, do you think that men owe a woman loyalty if she was there from the beginning? Absolutely. They absolutely owe that woman loyalty. Oh, sorry, sexual loyalty. That's what I meant. Sexual, hey. sexual exclusivity yeah, yeah. is different. Men, sorry, I mean... Sexual exclusivity and loyalty are completely disconnected for males. Nobody wants what? to talk about this, but it's the unfortunate reality. It's true. I'm telling you, no, you can get does. a man. He can go on a holiday, can fuck some stripper, can come oh, home, Jesus. and you can lie detector test him. Do you love your wife? Would you die for your wife? Would you take a bullet for your wife? He'll pass the lie detector test. He loves her with all his heart. He'd do anything for her. Good, then he could stop fucking around with other girls. There you go. Boom. Not that difficult. It's just, it's just pussy. It's we okay. figured it out, dude. I feel like, I guess my question would be then is like, how do you view sex? Because I, I like sex at the end of the day is spiritual unification. I feel like I've gone through a lot of different stuff. I've had a lot of different experiences where I did not value myself. So I never had a man that valued me. So it's like, yeah, you rack up guys and guys you shouldn't be texting back or whatever. But I feel like there, I understand that there is a difference with how men view sex and how they move around in the world. But it's like, sex is a sacred thing no matter a male or female is doing it so that's why for me like my biggest like the hardest for me to understand is like this is such a, is a, a sacred thing and it's just being Whoa. it's like a, taking a piss for a guy can I, can I just say something you sure you weren't making love to somebody that was having sex i'm sorry you weren't you sure that you weren't making love to somebody with, that was just having sex hey auntie that's, that's, that's have i in there. no th that's what it sounds like to me it sounds like as women they make love mm -hmm. to men that are just having sex right Maybe. That's the difference. That's, that's not the point. But, but my make. thing is, okay. I think, no, I think, so I think when men hear that, though, it's like if it was sacred to you, you would have waited till you were married. But it's and like, I, I get, right. No, I yeah, get, I get yeah. that. But the, the reality is, is that the world is not so black and white. So I understand that there are these things in place that worked and made sense. And now we're approaching an era that like, we don't know what's going to happen. But there's gray area. You've had sex. I've had sex. She's had sex. We've had sex with different guys. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that we're damaged goods. We're used goods. I understand status is a big part of that. I understand that sex is viewed differently. But I feel like you should not. If you're if you're looking at face value, I can understand why you would be judged from your past. But if if I'm a guy interested in you, I don't care about what you've done. But that's the thing. Like men, men do though. That, that's the thing. Like like I, a virgin's more valuable to a man than a girl that's had sex with multiple men. Like it just is what it is. I mean, not really. So listen, the only time I really gave a fuck about a woman's sexual status of whether they're a virgin or not was when I was like really bad in bed. I mean, realistically speaking, yeah, it could be disgusting when somebody fucks around a bunch of people, but overall, I could not give a singular fuck what the body count of the person I'm with is as long as they don't, as long as they fucking settle down with me. It might make it more difficult, but it's a case by case basis, whatever, dude. It's really not that deep.
Um, I think a lot of people, I think the reason like a lot of men are self-conscious about it is because they're self-conscious more than anything else. Like they like to pretend that like, oh, it's better, blah, 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 religion, yada, yada, yada. I think a lot of men are just like bad in bed and don't really want to be bothered to be better in bed or something. Maybe. I don't really know. Who cares? It's just like a sexual insecurity thing for, I think for a lot of people and men aren't willing to admit it because that's gay to admit that. Who fucking cares as long as you're getting treated well? I don't know what to tell you. Uh, but uh, the modern man's solution even, even, is not even. a virgin. A modern man needs a partner, somebody that's actually smart at, and can okay. survive in the world okay. of today. But I'm the men with and the that's going to be a lift the woman. Most, the men with the most choice are going to pick women that are more pure in general. The ones that are already uh -huh. self-made, I guess so. But that's and the thing. The reality too, is, like... the reality is that there's a lot of men out there, especially in the world that we live in today, that need a partner. So it's time for those masses of men to start respecting women for the role they can play. Well, so stop dating fucking people in this sphere then, because you're sitting here and you're having this conversation as you like you want to be with a guy like Andrew Tate. So like you know you're gonna get what you fucking paid for it. You know at that point, I have no sympathy for people like you. So who gives a fuck? Their I don't, lives. I don't, think, I don't do, think average men expect women you know to be virgins. You know what it is? But it's this they rhetoric don't. that actually then is pumped into these minds and creates what people are not complaining about the misogynistic world. No, you know? That's what it is. Even in schools, it's, be, it's like premiered it, it, it all and perpetuated. Why is it misogynistic for men to prefer, prefer women that are more It's pure? not that it's, but it's not, that's not the problem. The problem is now, listen, the maths is very simple. It's not misogynistic for a man to prefer a virgin. It's misogynistic to uh, say, that, say that women are less valuable because of it. That would be the part that's like sexist towards women. You saying like, yeah, I think it's fine for a man to want a virgin. Of course it is. It's a preference. Who cares a shit? But when you constantly assert that like a woman's value central is centralized in her sexual history, well, that's when you're fucking obviously just like valuing women based on like literally women are doing jobs. Like they're much more than just their fucking vaginas. You've got people like Andrew Tate talking about these things with such clarity and it makes so much sense because it is true. Right. And then you have men that are in these situations where just average working an average job and they cannot fulfill whatever definition is called to be a man in these. Yes, they can. And that's no, what they, he said. He did no. say that. Yes, they can. No, uh, a nine to five man can do it. But then again, but wait, wait, this is the thing. What we're talking about as a man, and this is why I say it's very important for us to understand the person that we're speaking to. And I'm very glad that you clarified everything that you mean. Not every man is like Andrew Tate. Not every man is going to be able to even realistically demand for certain things from a woman so the same way, way women need to compromise if it comes to a man who is going to cheat on her because he's a top g is the same way men are going to have to compromise and stop you know, but, blabbing but men, about purity but, yeah, yeah, when they can't you, know that. Right. No, you men, just men, did, men, you didn't no. get none of what you, you didn't get none of what i you made saying. my point that was the whole point no, that, <laughs> what point well duh what because you just quoted him you just said about his no, thing and you didn't no, know, not only did i made my point i said the average man does not have what he takes to demand for a virgin no more he already said that he already said that and i reiterated my own words for my own content for my page and so what is right uh -huh. Is that too many women? They see regular guys and they feel they're settling. You're not settling. You're getting what you deserve. But you can't be asking. Well, you're not settling. Okay. You know, you're not settling. You but the difference is men know this. Like most average men are. The, the average men are. The average men are. They But the difference is the difference. Wait, 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 wait. The difference is average men know they don't deserve a ten. They know they don't deserve an eight. They know they don't. Shut up. Just stop. Like I, I, this, it's this one talking about this boring shit. Most average men don't. Most there's you're are you're trying to make it seem like average. Like the average man is this humble fucking creature. Men and women are obnoxious and fucking annoying and selfish. People are dumb, annoying, and selfish. There's problems with men and women. They think too much of themselves, and they go on dates, and they realize that they're not that as great as they fucking thought. That's it. It's, this isn't like a woman. Oh, well, the average woman is just so full of her. No, they're not. Pearl, stop projecting your fucking weird perspective on relationships onto people. This is just not the truth. Like, people in general are flawed. Men aren't these, like, incredible fucking devout creatures that, like, the average man is just so willing to do all. No, they're not. The average man in, like, in, like these fucking younger ages, like, they're just as flawed as fucking women. That's all it comes down to. It's just a culture that's like, you know what? You know what the fucking problem is? You know the real problem is? Like, hookup culture. Hookup culture is the fucking problem. Okay, people going around fucking each other. That's more of an issue than anything else, probably. Or just do whatever you want. Who really gives a fuck? I used to. Who cares? But it's not it's not just one it's not just women. Men aren't these massively humble fucking creatures. Holy fuck, I swear, dude. After today, I want to be done with this high value male bullshit. It's so fucking boring. It's honestly just so fucking boring. It's a fucking it's just shitting. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm losing fucking brain cells. This whole fucking conversation is so stupid and boring. I don't even deserve a seven. And they still and go the dog, messaging and them and on the stories no, and no, all these dumb stuff that's just though. ugly. Like most men in history haven't even reproduced. And so it's like men know, but we, sure. the women are the ones that are delusional. There's regular men out there. There's regular men out there. Chris Hemsworth. There's Chris Hemsworth. There's regular men out there that will have you down. Yeah, but can I just say, people are watching Tate, not understanding that Tate is part of that 1% of percent <coughs> <seven women. laughs> and they think but, that they can demand the same thing. No, no, they, they can they, demand they, purity. They, they, one second, one second, one second. Sorry, sorry. I understand. Absolutely. The there are... <laughs> Sorry, there's a ton of young men who think this. They're like, yeah, I could be like Andrew Tate, and they buy his bullshit course that does nothing for them. You're all making, but what, let's understand something. To the sexual marketplace, females have always been, and still to a degree, are the gatekeepers. 
It's men will, yeah. you can think about it in a very simplistic way. This is not the case, but let's simplify it for the sake of argument. Imagine men will run around and fuck anything. And women are the ones who say yes or no. You are the gatekeepers yeah, that have sure. the power. And this is what's actually truly interesting about the sexual marketplace. Yes, yeah, so women have like sexual power. Men have like relationship power. It's pretty basic shit. Like if you if you can fuck a woman, you could be in a relationship with her. That's just been my experience at least. Like that's all it comes down to, right? Like women, you're more like withholding of sex. Men are usually more withholding of like relationships. Okay, who cares? Cool. Uh, Whenever women go, there's not enough good men. Nah, nah, nah. Then why are you fucking? Of course, why would they be good if you don't make them be good? You're fucking losers. So, that's, so, that's so, a good point. so women. So you're talking about. I'm saying that you know the man at a certain level can't do certain things. Da, da, da. If you were with Joe Schmo and he wasn't treating you the way you believe Joe Schmo should treat you, then why are you with leave? Him? Says, like you women, sure, women have I the agree. gatekeeping. So if you get Joe Schmo and he treats you like you're, you're his queen, treats you perfect, good. If you get a fucking guy at the absolute upper echelons of value and, and you still don't aren't happy with what he's giving you, then leave. Women are the gatekeepers. You women actually have all of the power. This is what's beautiful to, about agree. the whole thing. Yeah. Women are constantly complaining. You have all the power. You're the ones who get to choose. Do you know who you should be mad at for all this shit? I'll tell you who you should be mad at. Do you know who threw away all the female power in the sexual marketplace? A well, it's you as females. Because now you got chicks who will bang anybody without trying. So why should a dude get up and try? No, do you, you have any no. idea how hard it is to actually be? Let me to make this clear. Go on, do you have any idea how hard it is to actually be, no bullshit, a man? And I say this and women go, oh, yeah, dude. All right. I think I got to check out here. Because to be absolutely honest with you, I'm super tired of the high value mill, like absolute disconnected, dumb fucking discourse around this topic. It's this is you literally I could just go on TikTok and I could scroll through TikTok for 14 year old boys and girls dunking on each other with dumb shit all day if i want to hear this absolute fucking convoluted nonsense men and women both have issues they're yet generally more unique in our western society those issues are a little less unique it's hard to be a man it's hard to be a woman there are different struggles that come along with each at the end of the day this entire this manosphere nonsense is just centralized around shitting on women uh to try to to make excuses for men and instill a fucking pathetic loser victimhood complex into men so that they don't have to feel responsible for their own fucking failures yeah society's rough we should advocate against it for the most part it's poverty related it's resource related and it's like the top one percent earners that are fucking the rest of us by not paying their taxes but the reality is, is people like this that benefit from the fucking system because they're rich they're the ones who are crying about men and women bullshit arguments the most. This stuff is disconnected. These are a bunch of people who don't understand relationships cosplaying as if they do. Except for this fucking 50-year-old woman. None of them are actually in any like sustainable relationship. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. None of them are going to make good mothers. None of them are going to make good fathers. They're all going to be a bunch of fucking losers. That's really what it comes down to. It's boring. It's boring. And if you love the Andrew Tate rhetoric and you eat it up and you're like, I, then you're good. I'm happy that you're not going to procreate because you're a fucking loser too. If this is what you're gravitating towards, a victimhood complex for men, then you'll just fucking, your bloodline will die. Learn to respect women and learn to respect men as men and women, and you're going to be better off. Learn to respect yourself so you can set positive boundaries. You're going to be better off. Listen to this nonsense or listen to like radical feminism. You're going to be a fucking loser who's going to be single for your entire life, and you're not going to be able to raise kids in a proper way. So here's my advice to you. Get a job. Get some ambition, whether you're a woman or a man. Set some standards. Try to date. Don't give up sex instantaneously. <clears throat> Take your time. Care about the person that you're with. And just fucking build a relationship slowly. And I pray to God that you have a father in your life that didn't just go around cheating on people so you can learn strength from a man. Because I feel like we have, a, we have way too many fathers that are absent in their fucking kids' lives. That's what it comes down to. This is it. I'm fucking tired of it. It's so cringe every day uh, all the time oh let's talk about and why this is dumb there's nothing intelligent being said and you want to know what happens all these content creators will go out there and they'll be like you know andrew tate makes some good points sometimes no he doesn't he makes f normal dumb fucking points that are completely unexplored like men like have sex wow incredible there's nothing there's nothing profound about that he, he just it's disrespectful to men the way that he talks about men Ah, uh, yeah, you know, uh, men, oh. they just want to put their cock in everything, and they have to, or they'll explode. No, you can learn self-control. And if you can't, then be in an open relationship and be honest. If you're not going to do that, you're not a real man. If you're not going to be honest with your partner and say, I would like to be in an open relationship, you're not a real man. You just want to be with somebody you want to lie with to them all the time. It's okay if you make a mistake. If you end up uh, being, you know, if you end up cheating as a man or a woman, it's it, you know it's not good that you did that but as long as you're ready for a lifetime of rectification it's okay because you're gonna have to do that if especially if you're a guy who cheats on a girl because men tend to cheat more 
you're going to have to devote your life to building that trust back because you've destroyed a very precious thing. And if that woman was worth it, then you're a fucking moron for cheating. You, 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 you potentially ruined an incredible thing. It, life is hard. Relationships are hard. These things are hard. It's not easy finding somebody that you can be yourself around. It's not easy finding a person that you can confide your deepest, darkest secrets in without them thinking less of you, right? Because it can be really difficult to find somebody who's at your stage in your life that understands why you're engaging and having the problems that you're having. This shit's hard. You think that like I come on here every day and I, I will literally just like unintentionally brag about my wife. You think that it's easy? It feels easy, but it's not easy because I'm with the woman that I love. But do you know, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard going. It's hard not being angry at the person you're with at the end of the night when you had a rough day. It's hard. You think it's easy to, you think it's easy when the two of you guys are having a bad day because that's what happens when one of you is having a bad day. It, it, it negatively impacts the mood of the other person. I think it's easy having a bad day and then like. You're basically dumping that bad day onto your partner, especially if they had a bad day, and then you hate each other. But then the nighttime comes around, and one of you has to swallow your pride and just say hello to the other person because you were just silent with each other for like two hours. One, and my wife and I, when we have fights, one of us will be that one. <coughs> it starts with the hey, and it steamrolls, and into like, a, okay, and then you're talking about it, and then you're over, and then you hug each other, and you kiss each other, and you love each other. It's not easy. This is what you need to find. Life isn't about putting your fucking dick into a person. If your entire life centralizes around fucking, you are the most unintelligent, non-complex waste of human space that I've ever met in my entire life. Because people are more complicated than just having sex. Life is very difficult. Sex is fun, but there's a lot more to it. Spend that energy into trying to have compatible sex with your compatible partner and building upon that because like actual sex with somebody that you love is much better than just fucking some random bitch on the street or person, excuse me for my language. Like if you really get in tune with a person, the sex is going to be incredible. It's going to be much deeper. It's going to be better. You're going to know what each other like, what the other one likes, and you're going to be able to confide your insecurities into that person because we all have sexual insecurities. Every one of us, maybe you think your body looks a little gross, but if you're with somebody that thinks you're beautiful, that's not really a problem. Maybe you feel like, you know, your fucking tits are too small, your penis is too small, or some kind of fucking issue, but you're with somebody that loves you and they don't care. It means nothing to them because they're in love with you. And all of a sudden, this isn't a problem. It's compatible sex. I mean, I, I, it's just fucking boring, dude. It's literally 30 something year olds talking about sex like they're in fucking kindergarten. I, it's 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 weird it's so disconnected and i feel like too much of the online discourse centralizes around this shit it's like like this is like it's it's bizarre it's like literally like we have nobody gives a fuck about any of this in the real world this is this is what happens. There is a massive group of actual children on the internet, 15-year-olds, that think that this shit is so cool and awesome and base and fucking amazing. And they love it and they watch it and they view it. And then they inflate the self-esteem of a 30-something-year-old rich guy who got rich selling porn, who sold porn and trying to be desperately good at Big Brother. And if you've ever watched that kind of shit, all Big Brother is is just being as obnoxious as possible. We're talking about the male Trisha Paytas desperately trying to get attention. And this person feels so inflated by 15-year-olds liking their content that we've decided to make the public discourse about this. This is what we decided to make the public discourse about. That's all it is. Like, we literally... Nobody cares about this in the real world. Like, only people who care about this are fucking teenagers and Twitch streamers. And I'm one of them. And like I've we've just been giving this too much attention. It, it's it's dumb. It's distracting. It's boring. And the upside is people who eat up this rhetoric are going to be losers. And they're gonna fucking they're not gonna they're like I said, their bloodline's gonna die. It's fucking dumb. I'm over it. Let's talk about real shit. Instead of every time we talk about men and women's issues, shitting on men or women. Like, why don't we talk about building men or women? Like an actual fucking thing that we could be productive over. Some real issues that men and women face. 
We could go from there. But this is just tired and boring. It's like loser shit. It's just content and it's boring. Nobody fucking cares, dude. Bro, Big Brother is cringe. I watched it too. It's pretty entertaining. But you get my point. It's fucking dumb. Over it. Have more fun. Let's talk about things that matter. Yeah, I feel like if people actually tried this in the real world, they would be ridiculed or go to jail for trying stuff like this. Yes, dude, 10 years ago, like the, the, in the heyday of Ethan Klein, we would have all joked about this. We would have we would have joked about it. we would have laughed at this person. Ethan, you've you've ruined your credibility. You could have you could have booed Intertate off the internet. It's just so boring, dude. It's so tiring, bro. I mean, like there's no fucking actual married person worth any level of respect that would ever look at Andrew Tate and go, yeah, he's speaking facts, dog. Unless they're in a miserable fucking loser relationship. Most people are just trying to live their goddamn lives day to day and find somebody that respects them. Men and women aren't that, they're not that much different after all. We're different, but we're not that much different. We all want respect. We all want to set boundaries. And we all just have different boundaries. And men and women generally have different boundaries that they'll advocate to or adhere to. And that's okay. Men tend to be of the boundary of working longer hours, while women tend to be of the boundary of like taking care of the home a little more. And that's just naturally gravitated towards, whether it's social or whatever, the other one, environment, social or biological. And we're all pretty happy. We respect each other. But if your partner is somebody who stays at home and takes care of the kids and this, that, and the other thing, that's awesome. And if you're the partner that goes out and works, that's awesome. Respect each other's role equally, even if it's a little bit different. Because the reality is, it's not like a men are like, oh, I want a woman to cook and clean because that's beneath me. No. Men want a woman to cook and clean because they don't want to do it. Not because they can't, but because they don't want to. Women seem to enjoy it more, I guess. I don't know. But like, let's stop disrespecting the roles the other person engages in. That's just fucking dumb. You know what I mean? Like, Just respect femininity. Respect masculinity. Respect each other. Yeah. That's pretty much it, man. End rant. <sighs> What's the point of the Pearly Podcast? To make money. That's it. <sighs> and to just be fucking stupid. Uh, it's, we have to stop giving these fucking people attention. Dude. Bro, it's crazy. I want Papa Gut to pee on my face. But just as a friend. There's nothing weird about that I want him to pee on my face